hi to Chaco. Uh, hi to the Chaco Republic, which may or may not be in North America. Ooh. We've never talked about uh, where the Chaco, Chaco Republic is, but maybe near the Twitch servers. That's probably where it's located. Okay, so this is game is up now. We have here uh, the light in the top right as the yellow night elf. And in the bottom left, we have the blue orc fly. Fly, of course, from China. The light, of course, from Korea. Beautiful game here. Daisho already level one. The demon hunter level two already. With the claws of attack and slippers of agility. Those are some really nice items. Oh, but the archer dies to the creeps. So no XP given there to Daisho. The demon hunter is gonna cancel this this burrow. Or are the peons walking there in the, in the way? I think he just moved the peons in the way. Demon Hunter doesn't go for the burrow, he goes for the grunt. Meanwhile, what's the Blade Master? Where is he? Here he is, killing this level 3 rogue. Getting uh, slippers. He wants slippers of agility as well, of course. He, did he get the circlet or did he um, buy it? No, he did get the circlet. That is alright. Not really the item he wanted. Oh, there's the slippers. That's perfect. That's absolutely perfect for the Blade Master. So both heroes got some pretty good items. And there's a, a circlet there for the demon hunter as well. Now he can kill everything. And that's what he's going to do. He's going to kill everything. But he starts with this burrow here in the back. Not a nice block here with the peon. Saving the burrow. He cannot really kill the burrow anymore. He's still going for it. He's going to be too late. But maybe he can force some repair. What's this grunt doing? Why is he not... Okay. I feel like he could have moved him back here later. Tried to get some uh, free damage there on the demon hunter. But at least it's uh, blocking off the entrance now. Mana burn on the Blade Master. Is he just gonna buy time? We have stop by the way on the Blade Master. The Demon Hunter will he will have to TP out. Can maybe win this one of one fight. He has better items, but he's behind in XP, uh, HP. Not if the Grunt is helping, then he cannot win the fight. There's the TP. You see, he almost won it. He's uh, also, of course, ahead in XP, but he's level 2. He has a class of attack more. Uh, they both have a circlet and a circlet. A player's force is uh, did I just say a circlet and a circlet? They both have slippers and a circlet. But we have an uh, extra class, of course, on the Demon Hunter. He bought one of the circlets. And he was level 2, so... Maybe he should have tried to fight earlier. Instead of walk around. Demon Hunter. Oh, is he, if he's gonna get more slippers, the Blade Master is not gonna creep jack him. More slippers would be so amazing. Gets Mantle of Intelligence. Okay, the second best item there. Or maybe third best, actually. Against Orc. Against Orc, I think just the Belt of. the Gauntlet of Ogre Strength is even a little bit better than the Mantle of Intelligence. This Grunt, he's in so much trouble. This Grunt can always retreat. Oh, the Bestiary in even more trouble, saving the Grunt. Because we all know that the beast here is going down first. What, can he buy? Like, nothing. Shredder, maybe. This Wisp is beautiful placed. He can cancel. Blade Master can cancel. There's the Blade Master cancel. And we don't have staffs here. Do we have staffs here? We don't have staffs here. Who can do more damage here? Beast here was cancelled. But the, both Ancients of Winds will be cancelled as well. But let's see. Some Grunts are going to fall. The, okay, he's building one over there. This one is going to be cancelled. This one as well, for sure. Why is the shop not over here? I don't understand. Anyone understands? I don't understand. Why does he just leave his base open like this? Is this like some low light strategy of leaving your base open? Is this why he lo keeps losing against Fly? Because this is like... If his base was closed, I feel like this game was over. The Blade Master... Well, not over, but... A uh, big advantage for, for low light. Blade Master would have to retreat. He would uh, have the beast here cancelled. He would have some grunts killed. And he kills, still kills the grunts. It's still pretty good for little Lion. Don't get me wrong. He loses a beast master, but he kills three grunts. One. One. Two. Three. You can count here. It says in me Street Chaco. Yeah, three grunts and a beast here cancel. Four. Uh, a beast master and two ancient of wind cancels. Demon Hunter, does he have boots? No boots, but two circlets, claws, and the slippers. He is pretty strong. He, he won't just die. 
needlessly. Maybe you wanted to build a hunter's hole there? I, d I don't know. What? Are you trolling? Or are you... Uh... Don't you know? Yeah. Let me explain. You don't build a hunter's hole against orc if you go do so to Talon. Because you don't need one. You don't need a hunter's hole for anything. You build a hunter's hole for the Ancient of Lords. Because Ancient of Lords do need a hunter's hole. Is it dark? Maxi. Maxi, by the way, is the name of the Beastmaster. <laughs> this is creep attacking the Ancient of War. Let's see. The Demon Hunter are doing some more. He's going for the, the Burrow. They have a ton of strength. Oh, let's see what item we have here. Uh, Subby Mask. Can the Beast Master kill Grunt here? No, he's gonna be killed himself. He's surrounded by the creeps and the. Oh, not completely. The creeps let the go of the surround. The Beast Master does go down. The Demon Hunter killed. What did he kill? And how did he kill it? I forgot. Was it the Beastiary? He cancelled the Beast. No. Beastiary is. Wait, he killed the Beastiary? How did he do that? Was I paying attention? Maybe not. Did he get a Sapper? He did get a sapper. He used the sapper to kill that uh, bestiary. Maybe for vision and move upgrade. Uh, no man, it's too expensive. No one, uh, no one ever get the uh, guest hunter's hole against orc. It's just not worth it. Same reason why orc does not never get a worm mill against against night elf. Even even if you can get one kodo, it's uh, too expensive to build a building just for. Uh, too small of a benefit. Anyway, this move is going down. We have a Deuce of Talon here in the back. Do they, do they have Master? They do have Master soon. Soon they will have Master. But he loses two Moon Wells. What, meanwhile, the Demon Hunter just uh, doing some damage here over here. He's gonna retreat. We have uh, 30 Supply against 37, which means it's actually really good here for Loliath. It's really good here for Loliath. Is he actually gonna win the first game in his life against Fly on a non Torina stand map? Oh, is this uh, what this wisp is gonna detonate here? Maybe on Spirit Walker's beautiful dead detonate. This one, Druid of the Talon, does go down. The Blade Master saving the TC, but the Blade Master dying instead. The Blade Master is dead. And the TC is very low on hit points. He uh, was standing here way too close. He was being fairy fired, so that was a big mistake. If there was a Boots of Spirit here on the Blade Master, Demon Hunter, this uh, TC would be so dead. But there was no Boots of Spirit, so the uh, TC can just walk home. No problem. Bestiary coming up again. So we only have one Raider. This one Raider without Instare is what he has for this entire game. We have more dudes of the Talon uh, walking in. We have the Tree of Eternity up. Piggy wants to cancel some uh, healing, some healing self. A player's forces are under attack. Master dudes of the Talon is Piggy. Annoying, like how far behind is Fly this game? It's insane. There is four supply up, but that means he's behind because he's playing as Orc. Orc at this point needs to have a 50 supply army to even have his chance. And he's he's at 37, so it's like 13 supply behind of what he should be. Like there's not even Tinker because he doesn't even need the Tinker, right? Why get a Tinker if you don't need him? There's no reason to. Like the Orc army is too small to get a Tinker for the Tinker to really be effective. So might as well spend your money on more units. Spend your money maybe on the second orb if you really want it. Spend your money on a player's forces are under attack. Other shit. There's not 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 much Oh what? What a miss around there by Loliath. I I didn't look at it because I, f I figured the surround was you know done correctly. He had all the time in the world to surround the unit. Does get a tinker here. Come on. 
That's why you're here, right? That's why you're at the tavern, right? To get the tinker. Well, he has to wait a little bit for the money. He doesn't have the money at the moment. Meanwhile, fly is uh, creeping over there, but let's see what tinker we get here. There it is. Meanwhile, here, fly is uh, level 3. Blade Master, of course, level 2 critical strike. Cool. TC is pretty close to level 3. But he's behind in supply against Night Elf. This is so horrible here for Fly. Let's send this pocket factory. Mana burn there. And a shockwave here on the these these guys over here on the right. Nice mana burn there on the TC. Uh, this beast here back is going to get killed again. Oh, this time he does have four raiders. He, won he managed to build three raiders and get the ensnare, but the beast here is down. He should have killed it actually. Should have left it alive because it was a beautiful choke there. Or choke. No, uh, yeah, a bit of a choke. It wasn't a big choke, but it was a little bit of a choke. The demon hunter is being focused, but even if he dies, he should be fine. Uh, the demon hunter gets stuffed. Oh, the tinker though, trouble. Where's that pocket factory? Before you die, there it is. Beautiful play there by uh, Lolight and lets the tinker die because there was nothing he could do about it. The uh, demon hunter is back. Uh, blade master is flying here. We have uh, 47 against 40. The blade master surrounded. He's killing Druids of the Talon though. There was the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is too far away. The Blade Master can kill these Druids of the Talon before he dies himself. But now the Beast Master is there to help kill the uh, Blade Master. He cyclones the uh, Blade Master because I guess he uh, being attacked there. Oh, the Blade Master is surrounded again. Uh, kills another Druid of the Talon. He cycloned it again. But TC does not have any mana. But soon he could have maybe. Uh, well, probably didn't have the. Mo well, he does have a lot of money. Bought some item. Did the Blade Master get away? The Blade Master got away. Why let the Blade Master get away? Lolliot. The Blade Master should have died. That that Blade Master shouldn't be in alive here. So even though Lolliot is winning this game, he did make some mistakes. He just had a very nice early game. That Sapper, that uh, that Sapper is one thing, but also the the before that even killing those three grunts. But before that even the first bestiary cancel. It all uh, snowballed into a bigger advantage and eventually winning this game. Here, there's another cyclone on the Blade Master. Well, it's not over yet. Maybe we'll have a comeback here. We have uh, no more mana though. The Blade Master kills another dude of the Talon. More crits. We always know that Orc can always come back with just critting like five or ten times in a row. And the peons helping as well. Look at these peons. They're killing and the grunt, uh, killing this dude of the Talon. Blade Master back down. He's back up now. Flying in the air, the TC retreating. We have a piggy. Uh, we still have two peons here trying to kill these dudes of the tail. And look at this dude. Look at this dude of the tail and being hunted down by these peons. Look at them go. These are real hunters, but one of them does fall. Blade Master is being cycled again. And there it is. GG. Loliath wins game one. The first time in his life that Loliath wins on a non Torina stand map. Even with Shadow Hunter, you can still lose against bears, right? Your building is your complete. building is complete. Yeah, or dry it. I'm just saying it's uh it's more likely that you lose with a Shadow Hunter against Druids of Talon than with a TC against bears and the Dryads. But I mean it also depends on your own strength. What are you good against? Are you good against the uh, Ancient of Lores? Are you good against Druids of the Talon? Right? So uh, whatever you're worst against, just optimize your own play against that strategy, and then you're probably fine against the other one, the one you're good against. A player's forces you're already pretty good, so you can maybe take a handicap in your good matchup to get a better hero in your uh, in your bad matchup and your bad. Uh, well, matchup is not the correct word, but the bad your bad strategy. The key is to get Endurance Aura first. Yeah, I do agree to get uh, Endurance Aura first, of course, if you are playing against Dryads. Or Bears. Well, the Bears Jews are gonna be late anyway. By that point, you already have a level 2 TC. Doesn't matter at that point, but yeah, against the Dryads, you need uh, Endurance Aura first. But let me focus on this game now. We have Low Light here against Fly. Close position. Low Light here in the yellow. Uh, fly. Oh, did I update the score? I did. Nice. Um, such a good, such a good streamer.
Uh, the rope creeping. Let's see. The demon hunter got a, a cloak of shadows. Uh, Grunt is scouting. And a gloss of gloves of haste. And he, uh, what's happening here? Okay, he gets the ogre, he's level 2. Here's the blade master, he got the mantle of intelligence. Okay, so neither player got the slippers. The cloak of shadows, by the way, not completely useless for the demon hunter. Of course, it would be completely useless for the blade master, but the demon hunter could maybe use it uh, at some point in the orc base. The gloves of haste is pretty good for the demon hunter, maybe the best item. The blade master, uh, the mantle of intelligence, as you see, he sold it, so not very good. He buys the circlet, and he, what item will he get over here? Uh, talisman of evasion, a uh, pretty bad one. Most of these items are actually not that good, because uh, you don't really want your uh, blade master to survive longer. You just need the DPS, the demon hunter here in the back of the base here. This side is one of the best, it's probably uh, the circlet would have been better, of course, for the demon hunter. Hunter walking out. He does have the cloak of shadows, so he can hide, be annoying. The turtles. The blade master, by the way, is he level two? No, Tojara. We have Tojara here for a fly. But uh, even though like Tojara is my favorite blade master, fly is not very good with Tojara. I think fly is much better with Jubei. Even Hunter walking in. Is is going for more peons? Is the blade master buying uh, dust? By the way, does he have dust? He does have dust. Okay. How many archers? Three archers, I love this! Three archers, that's uh, uh, that's how life plays as well, that's why I love it, because you can creep. You can creep with the Beastmaster. Is he just gonna creep this? I think he's gonna creep that with the archer trick. They are setting up for it. Uh, this creep camp, you can creep with just three archers. You will see in a second there, if you don't know it. Probably most of you do know it. But if you don't, you're gonna be surprised, you're gonna be amazed by the, the archer creep. Blade Master creeping over here. Does the Demon Hunter have boots or anything? No, no items yet. He still has, has the TP, but of course. Okay, he can cancel something again. It seems nowadays, uh, fly, Fly's base just not very good at the moment uh, anymore. It's like, it seems like he doesn't care anymore about getting his tier 2 cancelled. Uh, Spirit Lodge was cancelled. Can he also kill cancel the Beast Theory? Maybe if he went there immediately, but now it's definitely too late. And while this is happening, the archers are creeping. I'll show you in a second, but... And nothing else going on over here. So you hide one archer here in the front. All these units, they, they are stuck. And the archers can just kill everything. It's just beautiful. You'd think like maybe the, maybe they can walk around, but these Murlocs aren't that smart. They should easily be able to fit through or kill their own hut. Like if you're being attacked, you would kill your own hut. Anyway, we have a blade. Oh, the Night Elf base is open? Was it open? I just saw the Blade Master walk over here. Maybe it's... I don't know. Maybe it's open. Oh, but the Demon Hunter is... The Beast Master is in the base, so that's why he has to go back. There goes one peon. He kills a peon. And can he cancel this? No, the... Yes! He lets the Demon Hunter in. What a mistake there by Fly. I guess Fly is playing even worse than Loliat. I mean, I don't understand. Fly was so good, like, a month ago. And then suddenly he plays a GCS Summer. Plays really bad after that. I haven't seen him play very well anymore. Demon Hunter is gone. The TP, yes. He should have maybe given the Cloak of Shadows to Beastmaster. But I guess he survives anyway. It doesn't matter. Look, his base is open, I believe. Over here. Getting a clarity. Uh, the archers still creeping. This takes some time, of course. Doesn't have a staff to uh, staff to the archers. Doesn't have enough moon juice. Only has few, oh no he has four moon wells. Uh, meanwhile, fly with his grunts. He's going to this creep camp. Interesting. If he bought the staff, he could get these items and immediately creep the fly here. Oh no, he's first going to creep this. But this is that a mistake? I mean, of course not a mistake. It's, it's well probably not a mistake. But uh, after it, it's morning, he cannot be, creep this anymore, but on the other hand, with just DC and 3 grunts, maybe it's too risky to creep that anyway, it's maybe not worth it. We have a healing potion here on the Demon Hunter, he's, he's gone for the Spirit Lodge one more time. He's playing this very aggressively, of course it's because on a close position, Turtle Rock, but also just because of uh, Fly's base layout, so bad, I don't understand. This is something I had to ask him in an interview. Like, someone asked me the other day, what would you ask professional players? And I was like, in, in interviews, I was like, I just ask about strategies and uh, tactical decisions. Like, 
Why does Fly not build this closest base anymore? Just one entrance. It's so easy to hot off this uh, this demon hunter. DC a very low hit points. Tome of knowledge there on the floor. Like you shouldn't be losing to this, right? If you just have one entrance in your base, you just have to uh, be careful of wisps. So, but there's no staff here. You'd be forced, Knight of Wood be forced to buy a staff teleportation to even get in your base, else they would never get in your base. This Druid of the Talon being killed here by the Raiders and the Blade Master. There it goes, there's a Knight nice Mana Burn on the Blade Master. Blade Master killing the Druid of the Talon. Where's the uh, Beast Master? Two, three, two, <laughs> two, three Druids of the Talon there. That's a uh, nice by Fly. Nice uh, comeback. He sees it's finally okay. He did get this creep actually. Yeah, Boots of Cotta last. That's really good. The jar level two. Where are the archers, by the way? Done over here. Boots of Speed. If you want to free Boots of Speed, you can uh, go over there and pick it up. A player sports. We have uh, 37 against 40. So the supply advantage is not that big here for Fly because his uh, Spirit Lodge was cancelled so many times. Master is up. Tinker is. Does he have money? No money yet for the Tinker. He's gonna buy the boots of. Oh, he does have the Tinker already. Never mind. He's gonna buy the boots of speed. He's gonna see that this base has already been crept. He's gonna build an expansion here. Maybe later. That would be a very low light esque thing to do to build an expansion over there. There's a boots of speed there on the Demon Hunter. DC level 3. And the Blade Master, three circlets and the uh, Boots of Crotalas. So he needs that Info Potion. He needs a level 2 Info Potion. Uh, potion of Greater Mana, also good. He has a level 1 uh, small Info Potion now. More Dudes of the Talon. Oh, and uh, this is, of course, Flies. Oh, he's gonna reveal where he is. Or does he? Oh, he has to return anyway. It doesn't matter. That's why he was walking this way. Well, he was planning to creep this. The fly is walking over to his base. Does he have a pillage? No pillage. Does he get pillage? No, he's not getting pillage. He's gonna kill one more wall. But we have 50 against 50. There's no way uh, fly can win this fight if they fight. He doesn't even have a depth. Doesn't even have a depth. Doesn't get a depth. No dispel whatsoever. Just spirit link. There's one uh, cyclone that Raider is. He can kill at any time. There's uh, only one spirit link there because he was mana burned. This raider is dead. Do we have more moon walls? There's another moon wall. And um, another ancient of wonders that was also killed. Let's see. The beastmaster, demon hunter are both still level two. The tinker level one. A player's forces are under attack. So uh, well, the jar is almost level three. So the one thing good for fly here, he has the XP advantage, even though uh, even though the lion grabbed this creep camp with these uh, archers early. Still behind in XP. He needs level 3-3. Well, he has level 2 Tinker now, which is cute. But he needs level 3 on his first two heroes. And then then the XP advantage goes back to Lol Lyot. Even if his hero heroes get level 4 in the meantime. Because of course the Orc heroes, they get Cycloned. They're not as important as the Night of Heroes until you get a level 5 TC. Level 5 Blade Masters is, can be dangerous. But usually, uh, usually not really. Well, it depends how uh, depends if you get some more info potions. 15 second info potions. Hood of Cunning, not that great. Tome of Agility plus 2, of course, very nice. And meanwhile, uh, the light is creeping the same creep camp on the other side of the map. By the way, a pen of energy is is really nice on the on the TC. Like in this matchup, I just like like uh, like more mana capacity for your heroes rather than like more mana regeneration. Like if you go Shadow Hunter, you often just want the regeneration. It's better than the the max capacity because you keep using your mana all the time, even when you're creeping, uh, no matter what. But the TC, you don't use your mana on creeps. You're just trying to save up all the mana to use in the fight. So capacity is usually better because you, know, you actually have more shockwaves during the fight. And then the, uh, after shockwaves, you're just using clarities, so you're using mana potions, you drop the capacity items. Use the mana potions and to get like a lot of mana. It's just so good. By the way, uh, drops the gun of Ogre Strength. He got one of these info potions I was talking about, making the Blade Master much more relevant in the, in the next fight. And he has a lot of agility, plus 14 agility. He can still win with the Blade Master. He has a level one with one, but he's almost level four. TC is level four as well. Meanwhile, what item did we get over here? Also, Hoot of Cunning. So both players got the same item. 
Uh, it's by the way not a very good item. And he keeps it on the Beastmaster. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I try to like it on the Tinker here. Uh, but. Well, actually, the extra mana is more relevant on the Beastmaster. I can tell this, but he uses it for but the Beastmaster level 3. We have a fight here. We have some Cyclone. We still don't have a lot of these Spirit Walkers. We have a few Dispels available. There's a 15 second Info Potion. What, is he going to kill this Beastmaster? No, he has a TP. And he will probably use... Oh, he gives him an Info Potion. Can he kill the Tinker? The Tinker has nothing. Maybe give the TP to the Tinker. There's Shockwave. The Tinker is level 3 as well, by the way. Okay, he just stops the t Tinker out. The Beastmaster is now in trouble. Beastmaster has that TP. Be careful for uh, the Blade Master can kill it. The Beastmaster TP is out. Meanwhile, a bunch of Raiders and Druids of Dayan died. We saw some beautiful shockwaves. And as you can see, he's out of mana now. Uh, we see. Uh, can you move? Let's look at the bodies. We see three dead grunts. Didn't even really hear them die at all. It's because uh, their death sound isn't that obvious. By the way, I totally missed this expansion, but I was talking about it earlier how, how the light was going to expand over there. Three dead grunts and one dead raider. And we see one, two, three spirit walkers. And well, only four dead dude of the Talons. So the light is going to win again. I think he's going to win two to zero over a uh, fly. Yes, level three heroes. His heroes are much stronger now than the orc heroes, but the TC is pretty close to level five. He should be giving this uh, this item to the Blade Master. But, oh, Blade Master full items, I see. I wonder if it's worth just getting backpack. That's probably not worth it. Just to give this item to a raider while you're clarifying up. Five? One, two, okay. Well, I didn't count them during while, while they were dying, but I only saw five, four bodies, but maybe you're right. Maybe it's five. Okay, you did find the expansion, I guess. I'm not sure how. Or maybe, I mean, if you're playing against Loliath, you just know, right? You just know. Loliath will never build expansion anywhere else. You know where Loliath's expansion is. It's going to be here. Well, it could be here as well, but... He just recently crept that. Looks better for Loliath, right? Just started watching. Yes, it's looking way better for Loliath. He has better heroes. He has a uh, better army because it's 48 against 48. His exp expansion just got killed, though. So, uh... That's a kind of a bit of a waste, but he's gonna win this fight, I believe. There's a nice mana burn. Oh, he dropped the pen of energy. Pick it up. No, the, the TC picked it up. <laughs> Tinker in trouble, by the way. He has a healing potion still, so he should be fine. Where's the Cyclone on the Blade Master? Anyone wonders where it is? Because I'm wondering where it is. Uh, Lolai, don't throw this, way, uh, this game away. Oh, yeah, there's a Cyclone. The Tinker, can he stop the Tinker out? Jesse stops out the Tinker. There's a nice shockwave there on the TC. Uh, it's, I'm sorry, I mean, nice shockwave. And a nice mana burn there on the TC. The Blade Master in trouble. He does have um, my, uh, mana left after this one Windwalk, but he, uh, that's enough, of course, to get out of here. The Light still 47, 39 here for Orc. Look at these bodies, all Orc bodies, three dead Talons. We see three Raider, four Raiders. Okay, four Talons as well, but also a Spirit Walker dying there. The Demon Hunter still full health. He, he has an Info Potion and Healing Potion. He cannot die. Even against a Blade Master with plus 12 agility, it's not good enough. He sold, by the way, the Hood of Cunning. I told you guys, not a great item. Uh, do we have Hood of Cunning? Okay, both players sold Hood of Cunning. Interesting. Both players sold it. This Raider is dead. And uh, how is Flight going to come back in this game? Both the expansion, that's how. But he needs to somehow do something. Maybe, uh, can he force a TP? But even if he forces TP, uh, the light is, the light base is right next to him. So he can come right back. TC, very low hit points. TC is going to die here. Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe he leaves him alive. Maybe he's afraid of the turtles. Turtles is, he, okay, we see fly creeping now. Meanwhile, all the burrows have been killed. We have even a, a Chimera, uh, Kim, Chimera Hawk. On a level four Beastmaster. An expansion here, by the way. I saw it already earlier, but I didn't mention it. Uh, the light building expansion there in the bottom. All the peons dying. All the archers still alive. You're right. 2 0 win here for the light. That's a major upset, or yeah, major upset. But that uh, just confirms our suspicion once more about the fly not really being in a very good shape at the moment. Okay, Demon Hunter is out here uh, for the ping for uh, Shishi. Oh, so Chimiko did win. He did win against the Night Elf. 
Fire here in the blue. I guess Chamiko isn't that bad against Night Elf. Beating Shishi, pretty good. We have a ring of protection here on the Demon Hunter. What did the Blade Master get? Did he, uh, oh, a circlet? No, he didn't get a circlet. He bought two circlets. Tojara, by the way. Tojara for fly one more time. And let's see. Shishi maybe should have watched the light games against Fly and realized that Fly is really bad with his base builds. Uh, Demon Hunter is gonna kill this Grunt. He's trying. Well, the Blade Master, what is he gonna kill? This Wisp in danger. This Wisp is so dead. Can he detonate? No. 25 XP for Tojara. Nice there by Tojara. Demon Hunter hunting down his Grunt. I wonder if we're just gonna see two Grunts this game because two Circles is very expensive, of course. Meaning that he, uh, this third Grunt is either gonna be never made or he will have to sacrifice his tech. He's gonna build his tech later. Or maybe his, uh, his TC later. <laughs> He's just going for the Geo of Ages. We're already doing over 300 damage. The Demon Hunter comes back to defend. Where's the Archer, by the way? Here she is. Of course, you can't really defend with an Archer. Archer pretty much has to... Okay, it's dark now. It's night. Uh, you have to wait to nightfall before you can do anything with the Archer. But even now, she can be dusted. This Moonwell is going to be cancelled by Mr. Blade Master. Look at him chop. There is the cancel. And uh, now he's going for the archer. But the archer is, is not useless anymore. Or she never was. But now she can save herself. Run very long hit points. Now it's just a demon hunter against the beast master. Oh, uh, blade master, I mean. Uh, cancel on this moonwell one more time. That moonwell. I mean, it was trying to, to block the blade master. But blade master had enough hit points to just cancel the moonwell one more time. Do we see more mana burns? Oh, he didn't go that mana burn. We can, he went evasion first. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Is he going to cancel this thing one more time? Don't think he, well, he, I'm sure, because there's no mana burn. He can always wind walk. Demon Hunter, how far away is he? A bit too far away. Not far away enough to just go to the shop anyway, no matter what, but. There is another cancel on the moonwall. The third moonwall is going to be so late, but the blade master is pretty long XP still. So is the demon hunter. And uh, there's a the bestiary. There's the spirit lodge. Is he going? Uh, is the is the demon hunter going straight to the orc base? Try to cancel something. Buys a staff. He could staff to the wish maybe, or is going to walk in and staff out. Doesn't buy boots. Doesn't need the boots. But this is going to delay uh, the demon hunter attack here. It might just go for this grunt because the base i think this this game fly close his base he built a correct base he built a beautiful base and actually this grunt is now blocking it so the human hunter can't get in can't get in finds the uh blade master cannot mana burn because he doesn't have mana burn just, well he just chops him cancels the healing uh, self anyway you know the beast master creep over here he wants sentry wards look at him wanting the sentry wards again a no close base but i mean this game didn't have a choice really because that moonwall was cancelled so much his uh shop he doesn't have a shop keep me over here Demon Hunter is almost level 2. He does get the Sentry Wards, by the way. Exactly what he wanted. Let's see what item we get here for Fly. He gets uh, Gloss of Haste. That's also exactly what he wanted. Both players get the best items. And uh, ooh, he does see the Orc here. Does the Orc see the, the Demon Hunter? He's, he sees it now for sure. He sees that Archer. What is he going for? I mean, he cannot really do too much here. Kill the Archer, maybe. The piggy can block. Where's the piggy block? There's the piggy block. It's Archer, uh, yeah. Nothing to do there. So the tier two finally gets up for fly unhindered. That didn't happen against the Goliath. Going for this ogre. Doesn't get it. There is ensnare now, so uh, he can kill a hero here. Actually, the beastmaster just surrounded without the ensnare, meaning the blade master, demon hunter. Has to be a little bit careful, but the blade master pretty low as well. He's just going for the blade master. Beast master went down. Archer is dying as well. There's a mana burn. Oh yeah, finally has a mana burn of course on the level two uh, demon hunter. 
That was pretty good there for for five, of course, killing the Beastmaster. It's just level one. It's not game over. It's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's just slight advantage there. Why? Oh, he, what? How does he see this thing? The dust. Oh, he does it. Fancy word. Master is almost back out. Fly once more time. Once to keep this creep. These guys are still hurt. Yeah. Tojara. Why does he always get Tojara? It's insane. Every game today we've seen Tojara. Tom of XP. That's beautiful. TC now level 2. And oh, nice dodge there on the ensnare. But unfortunately, the second ensnare, he cannot dodge it. This dude of Talon is so dead. Do we have Master anytime soon? Not anytime soon. He's not upgrading it yet. He's a tree of eternity, he should get a master. Why not get master, Shishi? Shishi, please. He's getting one more dude of Thailand. There it is, master. Meanwhile, we see uh, this creep camp will go to fly. What item does he get? Oh, beautiful item. Info potion, that's the best item there. This is by far the best item. Well, maybe not by far, but by a few miles. Like the potion of greater mana is very good as well, of course, but feel this one is even better. By what, trying to steal all the good creeps here of uh, Shishi. Shishi, where is the master? He doesn't have the tinker yet. He doesn't have access to the tavern. Blade master just going full out. There's no... Uh, Cyclone is going to be too late. That's the price he pays for getting Cyclone he, too late. He gave Cyclone to the opponent. Give Cyclone to fly. This piggy is dead. And these grunts, uh, of course, uh, fly, by the way, lost to Shishi in GCS Summer. That's how he was eliminated. Big surprise to everyone. This time he, uh, well, it seems this, this map is looking pretty good here for, uh, for fly. And let's see what item he gets over here. Since he already has the Invul Potion, 15 seconds. He wants the Greater Mana Potion. Second Invul Potion wouldn't be bad. Oh, he gets a second Invul Potion. That's, yeah, not bad. Not bad. If he gets a level 3 TC, uh, level 3 uh, Blade Master. Level 2 Critical Strike. He will use one of them. Give the other one also to the Blade Master. Use the other one as soon as he can. It's, he has three healing scrolls. He has... Three Invul Potions, a lot of great items here for, uh, what's his name, Fly, Fly at 49 Supply, she's still at 40, still no Tinker, does finally have Master, he does have a level 2 Demon Hunter, level 1 Beast Master, so far beyond in XP. Decently behind in Army Size, well it's, uh, Orc has a 10 Supply Advantage like normal. That's his Raiders over here, they do not have Pillage. Not getting pillage. He's going for the bait. Oh, we had seen expansion here. I'm not sure if I like this. I definitely am not sure. That's that's something I'm sure about. We have a very shitty item here. Lionhorn of Stormwind. Extra armor. Is he going for the... He's going for the altar. Okay. He will probably get it. But he's going to lose some radius for it. Oh, he doesn't get it. Demon Hunter comes back. Still level 2 Demon Hunter. These maps are still level 2 also. Is he just going for the base race? Base race uh, or... Might not actually go for a base race, but just threatening to base race. Just fly this. And then uh, get the expansion up in the background. The Demon Hunter is surrounded by raiders. Where's the rest of the army? If he could give an info potion. He doesn't have an info potion. The TP's out. Not getting anything. Cyclone there on the Beastmaster. He didn't have staff anyway, but I think that what he, what was what he was afraid of staff. Did he buy one now? No. Oh, yeah, he has one on the Demon Hunter actually. Maybe he had one already earlier as well. But this peon is dead. But we have uh, 44 against 48. At this point, Shishi can win a well. Can he win a fight? Army size is uh, decent, but the items are still much better for Orc. Fly, 
the uh, hero levels are also much better for fly. But maybe not anymore if you can uh, get a level 3 demon to here. Don't think he can get a level 3 beastmaster, but... There it is. And he can cancel this expansion. Oh, this is not that bad for Shishi, actually. Cancel this expansion. Oh, can he cancel it? Uh, fly with over 50. He went to 60, but of course, 10 supply is still in the in the buildings. Uh, he, he's just going for the uh, TP out. Will get a cancel, yes. Lose one druid of the Talon. And that's it. That was definitely worth it for uh, Shishi. Rebuilt the expansion, but now he's over 60 supply. I feel like uh, going for the expansion earlier pretty much gave Shishi an opportunity to come back in this game. I feel like he should have you know, should have um, kept his advantage, tried to fight, win the fight, maybe then build the expansion, but hey, it's alright, I guess. Uh, there's a shockwave, beautiful shockwave, mana burn. Still has a lot of mana, by the way. He has plus 8 intelligence, so we see another shockwave here. Do we have healing soul? No, TP out here for Shishi. Cannot win this fight. He's still, his heroes are still too low. Get yeah, double level 3. Should go for the red spot. Well, he, he uh, I, I like that cancel there on this expansion. If he went for the red spot, he couldn't have uh, cancelled that expansion. But... Definitely needs that level 3 Beastmaster. ASAP. A player's forces are under attack. Go for the Murlocs over here. Raiders again zoning out. Uh, protecting this uh, area. Also forcing Elf back to his base. Still not level 3 Beastmaster. Should he just split up? Send this demon on the back with a few dudes of the Talon. Keep this with the Beastmaster and the rest of his army. That would be risky a little bit. Ah, maybe not that risky. There goes the Altar. Five Raiders. Only five? Are those all the Raiders? No, there's more. Six. Six Raiders and a Berserker. We have uh, 56 Supply for Shishi, only 60 for Fly. Again, because of the expansion, he spent a lot of money to get that expansion. She has a chance here, but not if he loses the Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter is going to buy some items and survive, of course. Buys an Info Potion if there is one. Yes, there's the Info Potion. These Raiders, look up how low hit points they are. Demon Hunter has to walk back to safety to the rest of the army. And he gets there. Do we have Healing Scroll? Yes, there's a Healing Scroll. Yes, plenty more. Plenty more Healing Scrolls. Oh, these uh, Fairy Dragons. Pretty bad position here. He should put a Ready Point for the Pocket Factory. He doesn't. Just let the pocket factory be useless here in the back. Well, uh, the little goblin tinkers could have been very useful. Baymaster used the info potion, 15 second info potion to kill the beastmaster. Can he kill him though? No, he gets staffed out. You see, by the way, also very far in the front, but he still has the info potion as well. The tinker is going to die here, isn't he? Uh, yes. And the uh, info potion is still. Oh, what was this pocket factory? I don't like that pocket factory at all. All the way there in the front. This uh, dude of the tail and being focused, he goes down fast. It's. Force Soul Berserker going down as well. Team Hunter being cycloned. <laughs> so is the TC. That was, the, I think, the last one of the wind use. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there, yeah, there was the last one. Uh, Demon Blade Master kills his dude of the tail, and Demon Hunter is still in fight. Uh, finally, we have a level 3 Beastmaster. And now the heroes are a bit stronger for uh, for Elf until we get those level four, 5 TC and level 5 Blade Masters. Uh, but all the Druids of the Talon are dying. This doesn't look very good for Shishi. He's back to 30 for supply. Fight 60. And Demon Hunter down. GG. Okay, we have Wisps. We have a Demon Hunter pretty soon. And we have a Blade Master. Perfect early game. Gonna build a Barracks. Wait. His Barracks is late. Because he built an early shop. Okay, he's going straight to the Night Elf base, or at least uh, he's not going to creep this, is what I'm saying. He's going either straight to a Raz, or he, he might creep this. But he's not going to creep this. The reason I know is because he went for the shop first, which means that he can buy Im items immediately. You know, if you, uh, you want to creep this first, you get your grunt a bit earlier. 
and you creep this with your blade master and a grunt and then on the way back you can buy items but because he built a shop early he can buy the items immediately uh his grunt will be a bit later meaning he will go this way and either creep something over here or go straight uh over here straight to the base that's what he did last game by the way right he got went straight to the base he won with that so maybe that's what he does again try to uh hunt some wisps down kill the wisps Did Lol Light and Jamiko play uh, already play a game? I don't think so. I think they're playing the first game right now. You can watch it by logging in on Nadis. I'm not sure if there's an uh, maybe there's a Korean or Chinese streamer streaming it. You will really want to watch it. Team Hunter going for this uh, this creep over here. Uh, Ring of Protection, not that good of an item. Uh, Goblet of Ogre Strength. Also not a good one item. The Blade Bash did go for this one. Uh, does get a close of attack. He's gonna heal it, solve it himself and then probably try to creep check someone over here. Wait, where are these creeps? Throw them away so he could buy the circlet. Man, these items are so bad there for the Demon Hunter. Ring of Protection. Mm. Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Uh. I mean, God of Ogre Strength is probably better than the other items besides the Slippers of Agility, the second best. Ring of Protection is the worst. Blade Master. Yeah, well, of course you know. If you didn't see the Knight of over here, there's only one place the Knight of could be. He's hunting down the Archer and the... Uh, oh, does he not see them? He doesn't see them. He, oh, or maybe he did see them, but he's like, okay, now that I'm close to this creep camp. Anyway, let me kill this. I wonder if he's gonna finish this guy off. It's only on 96 hit points. Check is streaming, Chimiko vs. Low Light. Okay. You guys can watch uh can watch Chimiko vs. Low Light and check stream. And then you can have uh, keep my audio on so you can watch both games at the same time. You can hear me talk about this game. While watching the Chimiko vs. Low Light game. If that's what you want to watch, of course. We have a uh, Claws of Tech and Gloss of Haste here on the Blade Mash. That's pretty cool. Pretty good. Oh, and the Demon Hunter did get that sir, uh, that uh, slippers from over here. That's a really nice item. Archer hiding. Do we have dust? No dust. The Demon Hunter in the base. Can he cancel this, bro? Trying to cancel the bro. He will cancel the bro. There it is. Beautiful cancel. out of burrow now uh, can he get out of here he does have the stuff he won't have to use his TP uh, he can maybe cancel this burrow one more time yes that's gonna be cancelled and now he will have to stop there it is stops to is, is this to his main base yeah heals up uh, Beastmaster almost he's walking the archer he's gonna buy the Beastmaster the wisp knows exactly what uh, the fly is up to Wisp in danger here. Oh, and a wisp! What? <laughs> was Angel of War to save himself, but I don't think it was worth it. There was just a waste of resources there. Building that Angel of War and casting it. I mean, what did he buy there? Did he buy some extra time? Hardly. There's a circlet. Angel of War coming up here. Double of double Angel of War. Here comes the Beast Master with the piggy. The Demon Hunter killing the peon. The peon goes into the burrow. This grunt very low is getting killed. Do we have staff? No, of course not. He doesn't even have a shop, I believe. This this grunt is dead. That killing that grunt is quite big of a deal. But uh, Trina Stand, maybe not big as big of a deal as on other maps. By the way, this is Trina Stand. It's a uh, map Fly was worst on against Lil Lyot. Not today. But uh, when we check their stats, I should probably check the stats between uh, Fly and Shishi. Maybe I could do it right now because we have a bit of downtime. Uh, I'm very curious. What is he? Uh, oh, is he waiting for daylight? Yeah, I'm, I want to check it out right now. We have uh, Fly. Fly 100% against. Shishi, right? Yeah, I guess Shishi. Their matches are 2 and 2 in the recent uh, history. 50% for both players. Let's look at the details. 
Karina stand. Okay, last time Shishi won on Karina stand. The time before. Shishi, yeah, Shishi won the last two games on Torina stand. Apparently, Fly is just not good on Torina stand against Night Elf. Uh, he did, denied the Grunt XP, I think. Okay, I didn't pay attention to that, but he might be right, I'm not sure. And uh, Peace Master has 126. Does this give 252? I don't know. Wait, uh, TC has uh, 126. So yeah, you're completely right. He denied the grunt XP. Killed his own grunt. Okay. So Blade Match is gonna... Uh, they're gonna keep this together. What nice teamwork here between Fly and Shishi. They are best friends after all. Here I thought they were like trying to kill each other. Oh, but now the Sasquatch will go to fly. That's gonna be great. The TC level 2. Oh, actually not yet. Almost level 2. Uh, Wand of Lightning Shield. Not that useful, I think. Just keep it. I mean... You might use it on a Raider. Instead of on the TC or on the Blade Master. You kinda wanna use it on a Raider. Uh, force, force a Cyclone on the Raider. That would be nice. So the night too. Okay, I <laughs> guess I should tr trust Twitch chat a little bit more. Blade Master is still pretty strong. Look at these items: Claws of Deck, Claws of Haste, and Circlet of Nobility. While the TC has the Mana Potion and the One of Lightning Shield, so pretty good items here for Orc. Well, the Night Elf has uh, all well, the slippers. You see. 39 against 43. Does he have Master yet? Not yet. Soon? Soon. And this item, is it also going to Orc? Does he get all the good items? Does Fly all get all the good... Wow, Boots are quite the last on the Blade Master. That's insane. And these items are so good here for uh, Fly. And he kills that first uh, Berserker there. Beastmaster gets it there. This uh, Druid of Talon does go down there. That Raider dies as well. This, this Piggy helping here. We have Ace of War defending. But where's the Tinker? You do have Master now. Well, you don't need the Tinker yet because these heroes are pretty long hit, uh, hit points. Or not just the heroes, but the, all the units. Uh, there was a Cyclone, I believe. The Spions. Ooh, the Spions might fall. But that at least gives him some time to heal up the other units. And uh, maybe even keep to level 3 TC. Tinker's out. His Demon Hunter, only 28 agility. Let's look at the Blade Master. He has 36. Agility and Claws of Haste, so he attacks very fast. Plus 14 damage as well. Oh. But is it going to matter? If he gets Cyclone, a Cyclone, the Cyclone might not matter, but he's uh, gonna kill the Blade Master with the Info Potion. Uh, I mean, the Demon Hunter, not the Blade Master. Demon Hunter TPs out. He had no other choice there. Blade Master just too much damage with the Info Potion. He needs to buy another Info Potion. Yeah, might as well keep this. Uh, there's still... Oh, actually, they just have both been crept, of course. So no more 15 second Info Potions on this map. But he can get another Boots of Quartalas over there. That would be so strong. A second Boots of Quartalas. I mean, it's, that's just the best item in this matchup, right? Well, maybe not better than the uh, Scourge Bone Chimes. Not sure if it is. Would you buy Boots on Blade Master? Not at this point. Usually you don't buy Boots against Night Elf. It's uh, not really worth it. Another Slippers of Agility. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Slippers of Agility here on the Blade Master. He gives a circlet to the TC. Thirty-six percent army armor, but there, here comes Night Elf, and he does have a level two beast master. Okay, level three demon hunter. TC is level three as, as well. What about boots on TC? You wouldn't buy it if you get it from creep. Maybe you would keep it. 
I'm, uh, I'm not sure against Night Elf. Like, Night Elf is like the race where you don't really need boots on either of the heroes. Maybe if you're playing against bears. But there was a beautiful shockwave hitting a lot of dudes of dead and, and a healing uh, healing thing. Uh, this grunt is going down very fast. No, he's, he's going for the Berserker now. The grunt does die. The Berserker is going da to, uh, down as well. There's two dudes of dead in the front dying pretty fast. Why are the Raiders attacking piggies? Maybe dispel the piggies or micro raiders or anything. I guess he's out of mana for dispel. Yeah, he doesn't have dispel. The piggies do fall eventually. Now he can kill the dude of the Talon. Uh, the raid is still very high in hit points because of all the healing scrolls we have. Oh, actually, we still have two healing scrolls available. This doesn't look very good for Shishi. He kills a few, dude, uh, a few of these units in the back. These cows, these spirit walkers. But uh, a lot of dudes of the Talon dying as well. 34 supply here for Shishi. 46 here for a fly. And uh, more of these guys dying, more of the dudes of the ten dying. This Tinker is going to fall as well. Maybe he can stop him out. There it is. There's a stop. Beautiful stop. Uh, also, of course, the Cyclone was beautiful there as well. It's a Beastmaster, by the way, still alive. Or did he die at some point? He did die at some point. I missed it, but it doesn't matter. The Demon Hunter is going to fall here, and that's going to be GG, I believe. Well, actually, maybe he can fight his way through the TC. Maybe that's it. Oh, the TC is so low, but he still has his healing scroll. He's probably not going to die anytime soon. He kills one uh, spirit walker here. Uh, this Twist of the Talon will fall. Yes, there it goes. A Blade Master still being cycloned. How much more cyclone do we have? Uh, not much more, actually. No more cyclone. That means finally the Blade Master is free to do his insane damage. To do his plus nine uh, agility damage. Oh no, there's more cyclone there. But it is uh, 43 against 37. Actually, this game is still far from over. Well, unless he kills some uh, heroes here. He does have TP. Uh, the Tinkers have a 2. If the Demon Hunter dies here, it's going to be big. He I'll go through Dudes of the Talon. And Shishi, he cannot really fight, but he cannot retreat either. We have so many Raiders. We have 6 Raiders. He cannot retreat against 6 Raiders. Beastmaster is back. No mana for, for more piggies. He has one piggy there. Uh, more dudes of the Talon just dying, and I think this is this might be GG here in a the moment. There was a nice healing scroll. Uh, Tinker, he can stop out the Tinker, but what else is going to die here for Night Elf? Well, the Beastmaster is next. He doesn't have a stop for the Beastmaster. There's another Cyclone on the TC. He has mana for a Shockwave. Uh, the the Demon Hunter, can he retreat? He can, because the, the Raiders in the front didn't have a There it is, GGG. The winner of this will qualify for the round of eight. The playoffs. No one knows. Archers. Uh, we have Demon Hunter against the Archmage. Let me see if the chat knows then. The Chinese chat. A player's forces are under attack. Who won first? I assume this is second, right? Yeah, I assume so. <laughs> Archmage killing turtles. Mantle of intelligence is nice. The slipper is not that nice. Demon Hunter Ring of Protection not that nice. Did we get an answer? We didn't get an answer. I don't know the score. Uh, this water and metal does fall. Demon Hunter already level 2. Gets emulation. These two add. add these two Chimikos is almost what I call them because they say Chimiko. These two Chimikos, they do fall. The Archmage just uh, throws some fireballs against the Demon Hunter and we'll see some creeping going on over here. Let's see how many more Chimikos he can kill. This Chimiko here dying as well. Another Chimiko over here is going to fall. Four Chimikos dead already. We see these other Chimikos. We still have three creeps left, so and three archers. That's a lot of archers. Is that a lot of archers? The uh, Demon Hunter has to retreat though. He's just hunting down the Demon Hunter. Uh, the archers kill one of the ogres, so that's nice there for the demon hunter. Archmage, Archmage comes in. Does he have water elementals? He does not. He doesn't have the mana. Okay, that went to Chamiko. Now he's killing these. Uh, what is he going for? Archmage three seven six XP. Um, Archmage did get XP there. Almost level three. He's cursed bone chimes. Okay, uh, not that great late game. But kind of useful, useful early game. There's a tree of life here for Goliath. Hunter's Hole. Ancient 
wonder if she's almost a tree of ages is it going for a naga or a panda or a different hero let's see if they answered my question Goliath. oh wait let me see if, if uh, that's actually answering my question or if this guy asked something a player's forces are under attack um, Am I missing something? Waterman was not. Okay, I think. I think uh, Lolite won the first game. That's probably what the guy's saying. There's a nice breath of fire here on the footman. He's trying to kill this demon hunter. And uh, the demon hunter has the immolation, doing so much damage, killing so many units here. There's another water elemental. We see some dead footman. We see some more dead footman here on the floor. One dead archer. Another dead archer. So we only have one, two, three archers left. Demon hunter stops out. Do we have one more breath of fire? I mean, TP's out. Okay, didn't have uh, the cooldown, but still not uh, done for breath of fire. And uh, it's out safely. Double angel floor being built here. The expansion is up, I believe is up some of these units pretty low hit points he's building arcane vault our uh, tower is going up still a tier one a player still at the um, town hall and sell something sell the scourge point times doesn't sell the slippers slippers of jitty staffs to somewhere has boots of speed by the way no dust, of course, not needed. It's gonna be day soon. And here we have a fight between the demon and the archmage. The archmage missed his first shot, but hits his second and third shot. The demon is using his uh, emulation against his peons, peons one more time. The tower's not up yet. And here comes the panda and the archers. The panda is uh, pretty hurt. Hurt. Is he gonna kill some footman? Watch the breath fire. There it is. The footman surviving with four hit points. That's just beautiful. If you have staff there, he stops out the demon, demon hunter, but the panda himself pretty low. He cannot really uh, push here. Meanwhile, we have uh, two, ancient, <laughs> two ancients sweeping this uh, expansion. Ancient of Lords are up. Demon Hunter is, is going to help creep, I think. Over here. Because, uh, just the ancient. The uh, Tree of War. Ancient of War is going down. He's dead. Ancient of War died. Go to Panda and the Archers. The Tree of Life will uh, probably not die. Yeah, he's pulling Wisps. <laughs> just in case. Uh, uh, Demon Hunter is on, on hit points. Does he not have moon juice anymore? Hardly. Hardly has moon juice. Both the panda and the demon hunter are very low. Meaning... Oh no! The demon hunter! The demon hunter died. And here comes the archmage! Oh, best timing here for Jaimigo. Looking so bad here for the light. Remember, he still has no moon juice. He has like 100 moon juice in total. And he also... Uh, yeah, he's gonna lose his tree. Does he have a shop? He does have a shop. He could buy healing potions, but... Wow. Uh, maybe he should have used the skull of the beast there <laughs> just on his three archers but no this this angel of life this tree of life is going to die these uh turtles as well is looking now certainly very good here for uh, chamiko i mean it wasn't looking that bad for the light until this happened over here of course the demon hunter dying to the creeps means that he didn't give away any xp and he will get a full hit points demon hunter back maybe he let him die on purpose but Actually, maybe let him die on purpose, now that I think about it. But, um... Yeah, after they got creepjacked by Chamigo, that was just horrible. Would the Periot be good on Demon Hunter with Immolation? But you, you don't want to buy it. It's too expensive. It's like 350 gold. But if you creep it from somewhere, maybe you, uh, you keep it. And uh, it's gonna be pretty close to level 3 here. I think he will get level 3. Demon Hunter's back out. Full hit points. But it got him 210 gold. But he does get a full hit point uh, Demon Hunter back. But he actually is going to bears now. Going to Tree of Eternity. Once he has bears, he has plenty of healing. Fortunately, he doesn't have expansion. We have Chamiko back at tier 2. Or not back. He's a tier 2. 
Go to Arcane Sanctum. Meanwhile, he crept over here. Let's see what item he got. Archmage, by the way, level four and a half already. Uh, I, I'd like to see some uh, Blizzard later on when we see those bears. Now, Blizzard, not really that useful just yet. However, Water Elemental is not that useful either. Gets all those uh, dispels with Naga. Second uh, Arcane Sanctum going up. What do we have here? Any workshops? No. Is he going right for man? No. He's not getting anything just yet. Uh, but we don't have the Rifeman upgrade, so I do think he's going to build a workshop somewhere soon at some point, somewhere. Getting, of course, a Gunpowder upgrade, but that's for the murder teams. And the level 3. There's a Haze. Uh, he's going to be surrounded. Do we have staff? Where's the Demon Hunter? Do you have staff? Demon Hunter does have staff with his own cooldown, but the Rejuvenation is enough. This panda cannot die. Uh, TP out here by the Archmage. Beautiful breath of fire, killing one footman. Oh, the bear in human form just killed a human uh, footman. Have you ever seen that before? I've never seen a bear in human for form kill anything. This is like the first time in my life I see him kill a unit footman, in fact. That's just beautiful. This is how good Lolite is. Level 3 heroes here for Lolite. Uh, level 4 Archmage, level 1 Naga. The Arcane Sanct. Okay, he's. Is going for Rifleman. Did he perhaps get that upgrade? Well, I was not looking. Technology. No, he does not have the Rifleman upgrade. Does have defend. Demon Hunter killing this uh, peasant. There. Killing one more peasant. We have farms going up. So Amico 55. He went over 50 supply. Lolite 48. But he has Master Bears. So he's still fine. His army is still stronger. He also has the double level 3 hero. The Panda has the Panda of Energy. But not enough mana to... Uh, well, no mana at all. Mana for one breath of fire, that's it. Bear usually Junipate on itself. Goes in bear form, these uh, footmen pretty low health. Do we have a heal scroll? We have a heal scroll. And he will have to use it here pretty soon. In fact, else he's just gonna lose these footmen. Gonna use one? Maybe not yet. Maybe uh, yeah, tank a bit with these militia first. Uh, losing two militia, another one uh, dying almost dead at least. The panda's out of mana though, so. He just keeps the healing scrolls instead. I mean, but he lost some units for uh, not using that healing scroll. There's two militia. Not sure about the footman. I'm not sure if he could have saved that footman, but those two militia wouldn't have died if he used the healing scroll. But the healing scroll score is more expensive than two militia. Bear is. Uh, does he have staff? Oh, no staff on Demon Hunter. No, no staff. The bear dies. Uh, maybe try to deny to. Maybe try to deny the XP there, but I think. Oh wait, he did deny the XP there, as we can see here on Anaconda, she still has 0 XP. So, more spellbreakers. Uh, no workshops, we do see more riflemen. Oh, maybe one of the reason. Nah, that's not it. He of course does have less lumber on this map because he doesn't get shredders. We have two heal skulls on both heroes, so four heal skulls. Oh, the Tree of Life, by the way, went back up. Missed that, but it's up now, so. There's a nice mana burn. Is that level 1? Yeah, level 1, because he has the 1 1 1 build, of course. Demon Hunter being focused, gives the staff to the panda, staffs out the Demon Hunter here at the last moment. No! What? Um, He loses the Demon Hunter. This time, it's I'm pretty sure it was not on purpose. Uh, Demon Hunter dying. The panda kills one priest here with a breath of fire. Arch the archers, the bears, everything is falling. There it is, GG. Chimiko wins this game, and it is 1-1 one, one now, I believe. If I can trust Chinese chat, but we cannot always trust Chinese chat. I believe it's 1-1. One, one. Let's hope Chinese chat didn't lie to me. And we're gonna wait for uh, the third game. Okay, Lolite is in the game, so they did not lie to me. Third game is up, we're just waiting for the third game. What's happening on uh, the other stream? Let's see, Moon is playing against Life. Oh, Moon against Life, rematch. Last time Moon won 3-0, I believe, against Life in... Um... And where? Where was that? NSL. Uh, but after that, of course, in GCS, Life did much better. But that was mostly because life is much better against Orc than Moon is. But against Night Elf, we saw Li life lose yesterday against Remind in Night of Mirror. Well, we see Moon always beating Remind. So definitely, I definitely think Moon is better in Night of Mirror. 
But I think life is gonna lose here. Yes, Moon. 1-0 for life. Oh, that's beautiful for life. But on the other hand, he won. He went for, in NSL against Rimai yesterday. He went 2-0 up and then he still lost 3-2-2. So he could still lose here against Moon, but we'll see. Uh, let's see if this is updated, by the way. Not completely. Fly already beats CC 2 to 0. Should be over now. 50 supply for life, 20 for moon. Is life actually beating moon 2 to 0? Are you kidding me? Just after you lost to Remind yesterday, my hopes a little, it went down a little bit for the life in the Night of Mirror. But I don't, that's all right. Oh, you mean the first game? Oh, the first game. Okay, okay, okay. So, in other words, life will be 1 0 soon. That's what we're saying here. Um, is the game up yet? Not yet. Let me eat some pretzels. Uh, again, to this morning I didn't have any time to make breakfast, so I just uh, looked in the closet to find any food, and what did I find? I found some pretzel bites. They're uh, pretty dry. They're, and they look like this. I don't know if you guys can see that. They're like dry, not that day. Well, they're not that bad. They're actually better than I expected. But this is just my breakfast. I just need to have some food in my stomach. Building is Here we got the next game. Low light for Chamigo game three. The winner of this will qualify for the round of eight. The loser will have to play against Fly. I think uh, Low light has a better chance against Fly, especially after you just beat Fly two to zero earlier. And as I was saying, I think Fly is especially doing bad for Night Elf recently. I think he could uh, still beat Chai Miko. He still is, is a pretty big favorite against Chai Miko, I think. Did we check the stats here between Low Light and Chai Miko earlier? No, not yet. Let's see. Since we have uh, the early game, as well check this out. Low Light versus um, who? Chai Miko. Uh, it seems in official matches here in 2017, Lolite won two and Chamiko nothing. Chamiko creep over here, gets a Tome of Intelligence. That's a perfect Tome there for the Archmage. The Ring of Protection, not that good. Demon Hunter got the Gloves of Haste. Not really the best item against Human. Uh, especially not early game. Not bad though. It's, uh, it is better than the Ring of Protection. I think it's a bit worse than the Claws of Deck and definitely worse than the Circlet. Archmage just keeping some, some safe creeps here. This Peasant! Beautiful micro there by the Peasant. Oh, the base is open. I see. This Peasant protecting the base here. We have the Demon in the base. He has Evasion first. He needs one kill. 12 XP. One kill. Doesn't matter what it is. He is level 2. There's nothing in this game that gives less, less than 12 XP. Even skeletons give 12. There's no skeletons in this matchup, but just saying. Town is 
under siege. So as long as he doesn't get a second hero, anything will give him level two. He uh he buys the for uh, hires the first door shadow priest. The wisp here is uh, being hunted down by the footman. That's tonight. Oh, the, the footman taking a lot of damage. That was a beautiful death tonight there by uh, Loliath. Echoing those creeps like Tamiko probably was thinking like, well, it doesn't matter. I need to echo these creeps anyway. But the footman was in a such a bad position. He took so much damage. The demon hunter fighting footman with the help of the archer and the first set of priests while uh, the militia are killing the creeps. The gnolls, of course, go down pretty easily. There it is, level two. I don't know what he killed, but he killed something. Uh, actually, something 30, 42 XP. It must have been a water elemental. And there's the 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 thing, the immolation, uh, killing maybe these two. Chimikos, <laughs> these two Chimikos are so low on hit points. Peasants, I <laughs> let them live. Both these uh, peasants survives. Not a single unit was killed there. Chami, oh, actually I was wrong. He did lose something. Okay, he did lose a footman. One footman. I think that's all he killed. Did he kill two? I feel like he killed more. How much XP are you on level two? I think on two hundred, right? So. Um, Maybe he got the one creep. Maybe he got one creep as well. He has quite a bit of XP, 312. Even if uh, just a footman is not enough, he got more than just a footman. I think he got the creep. It must have been. Must have been. I'm sure of it. Immolation there. Uh, Use a little bit. Scares away the footman. He has a berserker now as well. What else do we have here in the base? Ancient Wonders, Hunter's Hall. Of course he has. Uh, well, no ultra vision. In fact, no ultra vision yet. What is this? What is this? Have we ever seen this before? It's a war. Well, how much does the shade give? Oh, I don't know. Sheep? Yeah, sheep. <laughs> sheep don't get it. Give XP, of course. I think a shade probably probably gives at least twenty-five. I think twenty-five is just the least for a normal unit. Maybe less. I don't know. Maybe twelve. Nah, I think Shade gives 35. I don't know, but uh, we have some units here. This Angel War is going to be cancelled. The pandas surrounded. Pe the peasants killed. There's a beautiful breath of fire, but the ancient war it does get, go up. Beautiful ancient war there, and the panda is going to die before you can use another breath of fire. That's a shame, but uh, the ancient war so beautiful. Killing more peasants. The ancient war can kill this peasant as well, but doesn't uh, want to give away the XP. You can kill it now with the demon to get 25 more XP. Kills another footman there with the archer and the berserkers. This berserker can be my code or has to be my code, uh, else he dies. Okay, he's trying to hunt down the footman. The Merserker is by code home here. The Demon Hunter did kill the footman. Level 3 now. He's gonna get mana burn. He gets that water elemental. And, uh, well, he's pretty low on hit points. Archmage does have boots of speed, by the way. Uh, staff is on cooldown. He will have to TP. Uh, might as well TP now. There's nothing he can do here. He just. There it is. He's a war still up. And uh, Panda is being revived here. Demon Hunter level 3. He went for the 1 1 1. Level 1 uh, mana burn. Level 1 emulation. Level 1 evasion. Still at uh, tier 1 here for Jamiko. Ancient of War killed the footman over there. Okay. I'm not sure how much damage. Well, the Ancient of War did quite a bit of damage. Because of that Ancient of War, the Demon Hunter was able to kill a lot of peasants. Uh, he had to repair his. Uh, is is building as well. I definitely think that Angel of War was worth it. Uh, this footman went down to the creeps. He got the XP for the other one over there. It's uh, perched. What is the panda going to do? He, of course he wants to creep. But the human, if the human goes and harasses some wisps. Be a problem. So Demon Hunter Vastus instead cancels that uh, arcane vault and he goes back in. He's stuck in here, I think. He was trying to get the footman, but he couldn't uh, walk past this area. So he stops home. He's back home. How much does an unupgraded tower give? I think 25 as well, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if a scout tower it gives either 0 or 25. Of course, an upgraded gives 25. Uh, 
Uh, maybe it's zero. Most buildings that don't attack give zero XP, right? There goes that, uh, that first little shadow priest. Yeah, he gets a water elemental. Let's pay attention. Next time we see someone uh, kill an unupgraded tower, let's see how many XP's he gets. Demon Hunter, okay, there's not enough moon juice, so the Demon Hunter comes here being... Oh, he, he does have a little bit more moon juice. Panda has the boots. Okay, he got the boots from this creep. Maybe give it to the Demon Hunter. He needs it more than you, Mr. Panda. Manual of Health. Let's see if he's gonna read this book. He does. 50 hit points. We have a Zeppelin. Zeppelin uh, <laughs> got damaged by a lot. He first has to go home to repair it. Repair it. And he also needs to heal his footman. And then he's gonna harass. It's gonna take some time before he's all the way back into the Knight of Base. Oh, he did, did get a Shredder as well. Passion is going up. Is he defending it with uh, nothing now? It's a shatter. Uh, the Zeppelin is probably going from this side. This expansion will go up. An Un upgraded tower is zero. 99% sure. A player's forces are under attack. Okay. Well, I'll trust uh, Aodor AD. Makes a lot of sense because all the other t buildings are also zero. Panda's level three. Gets a replenishment potion. Okay, didn't go for the harassment with the uh, Zeppelin. So maybe he can get a cancel. Do we have this spell? We do have this spell. So no cancel. Where is the Zeppelin? A player's forces are under attack. I don't know. Here it is. Still repairing the the peasant can go back to work. Peasant, chop some trees. Zeppelin, fly over to somewhere irrelevant. Uh, this uh, tree of life. Okay, he's going for it. Don't think he can get it because it's almost up. I um, mean, then the footmen are missing and they're dying and they're, uh, all the other bad stuff is happening to them. They're drunk and now the tree of life can defend himself. He's down to 137 hit points. Where are the wisps though? Where are the wisps? Uh, the Archmage is forced to TP out the 10 hit points any second later and he would have died. And look at this tree of life, 33 hit points. Was I right or what? I was totally right. This tree of life was safe all along. So many footmen died there, five footmen died. But uh, it's not over yet. Peppers. One sepper might be enough. Of course he hasn't crept it yet. So uh, yeah, low light. Just on, on the offensive on the south side. Or so that no human uh, units can sneak to that expansion. Archmage is over here. Gold mage. We have mortar teams. We have double arcane sanctum. We have another tower. We have a tower here. Another tower over here. Still a scout tower. Getting upgrades. He's back to uh, 538 XP, uh, HP. The tree, of course, gives about 500 HP. There are the Marty team set by the Zeppelin. Blood Mage is out. Let's see him steal some mana. There, Demon Hunter. You might have no hit points, but you also have no mana. And he has to use a healing potion. Demon Hunter is so low on hit points. Where are the bears? We need some bears. ASAP. Didn't bear. That's a bear. Do we have uh, Spellbreakers? Nope. Not yet. Ooh, that. Try it. Did he? Did he just try to rejuvenate the dryad and it just died? Instead of rejuvenating the demon hunter. I mean, demon hunter maybe he, wa he was forced to stop him home, else he would have died. We also have mortar teams, by the way. So this tree being low on hit points. If at any point, Amiko gets close to this tree, uh, it's going to fall very fast. A player's forces are and he has two armor. It doesn't have nature's blessing. Maybe he can get it later. Uh, does have an ancient wind up to build that hippo. Where is that Zeppelin? By the way, is it still defensive? It's still being defensive. If he gets some mortar teams, <laughs> if he gets some more mortar teams, maybe we can put four mortar teams in the Zeppelin and just snipe this tree of life. I mean, he can't. He can't because this hippo is going to be there. But if uh, if Lolite was trying to skip the hippo, 
would have been a pretty good uh, strategy for Samiko. Wisps scouting. Okay, what item did he get over here? Not sure if I like him creeping that. I, of course you want to creep that. Oh, healing words. It's a lot of XP and a very good item. Oh, pick up the Tome of Strength. But on the other hand, you do set up your base to be killed by a sapper. Okay, you need set two sappers now. Two sappers is still pretty easy to send uh, over there. This uh, this footman, the, not footman, peasant dies, the tower dies. Like imagine if you just send like one unit, one militia over here, buy two sappers, uh, send them over here, kill the tree, type GG. Be pretty uh, nice. Would definitely be worth the money. 430 gold for two sappers. Of course, he doesn't know that it is safe to do. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't have much map vision here, Chimiko. He doesn't know where the Knight of Army is. Not anything. Well, now he knows. Maybe now he tries. Well, he does know that this crap jet, of course. A player's forces are under attack. Maybe he should have scouted, scouted for it, or maybe he should scout for it right now with one militia. That uh, sources does go down. Chimiko has a lot of gold. Light 70 supply, bears are zero zero. Fairy dragons, where is the hippo by the way? Maybe he just skips hippos, just uh, use the fairy dragons to kill the, the zeppelin. Almost just as good at killing zeppelins. They have a bit slower movement speed, they have uh, a bit less damage. They're much better in a, in a fight because you know, the hippo can only kill the zeppelin. That's, that's it. But let's look at the hero levels. So we have a level four panda. Boots of Pelt allows give that to Demon Hunter. Level four Demon Hunter. We have a level three Archmage and level two Blood Mage. With a bunch of towers, a bunch of healing scrolls, a bunch of healing uh, scrolls of regeneration, a bunch of mortar teams. What are they doing? Killing, uh, making a pocket there. Let's see what item he gets over here or got. Uh, Ankh. Um, Ankh is not that useful because like we don't have anything that kills the heroes instead he's just gonna steal the mana from the heroes neutralize them with banish but not kill them he's gonna be killed lay uh, last Shaolin <laughs> YT has just donated $100.83 sure Shaolin sure Does give the boots to the demon hunter. This uh, spellbreaker is going to die. We have one, two upgrades, by the way, on the spellbreakers. No upgrades on the bears. Uh, I do think he should have probably gotten that one uh, hippo just to make sure to kill this, this zeppelin. The fairy dragon's just not doing a good enough job. They're just needed elsewhere uh, as, as fairy as uh, disco balls. We have one over here. The other two are way, way in the back. This one is being focused. He's, uh, he's going to die the Shredder, killing shit. Zeppelin is still alive. We have uh, 78 against 79. Uh, the militia tanked against the bears, even though they're better upgraded. You think they will kill the bears. There's a like breath of fire. We also have a healing ward available if he uh, needs to heal up. Picks up a bear. Unfortunately, control magic requires an upgrade. Anyone knows how expensive it is? It's probably the least, uh, one of the least used upgrades in the game. Control magic. Oh, you need to be at castle. I didn't even know that. I don't know how expensive it is. It is uh, control magic. You never use it, but there's one situation where it's actually, it actually is worth it, and that's against wards, especially against healing wards. But uh, you have to be tier three. I don't know how expensive the upgrade is. That's the upgrade that could probably use a buff, by the way. If there's uh, any anything that could be patched. Uh, the demon hunter here in the front, the bears, oh, we have the healing ward by the way in the back. The bears, um, pretty, uh, pretty strong here, this bear is dead. They're one zero upgraded right now, do we see some more mana being stolen? We have an anti-magic shield, uh, shield, anti-magic shell. Uh, with level 5 demon hunter, both level 3 mana burn as well, so even if he steals some mana, his mana is being drained. There's another mana burn, or burnt I should say, the oh, we're play out mates! Use the info potion. With 77 against 75, it's still anyone's game. Does he have another healing scroll? No, but he does have a regeneration scroll. He buys his healing scroll, and there it is. 
want more money. A player's forces are under attack. Well, um, it's also on Marauders, by the way. These sources is all do plus three damage. I think he wanted the roar on the mortar team, so they are two zero upgraded. This one plus eighteen. Two two upgrades now on on the spellbreakers. Two zero on the mortar teams. Team Hunter level 5. Panda level 5. Okay, the heroes here are very strong here for Loliath. But who cares if they don't have mana? Doesn't matter how strong they are. We still have a creep camp over here. Uh, he could get a level 3 build mage. He needs a level 3 build mage. Uh, 16 XP. Could kill a unit somewhere. One wisp is not enough. He needs two wisps. Gonna retrain to Blizzard. There it is, retrain to Blizzard! Of course, it's Chimiko. We're not watching uh, Romantic or Infi or a Chinese Korea, uh, Chinese, <laughs> a Chinese human player. We're watching a Korean human player. They like the Blizzard. I like the Blizzard as well. And it needs a level three blood mage to steal all the mana from the panda ASAP. Or mana you steal. Best mana the panda has. We have one more upgrade now here for uh, Lolite, killing this tower. Oh, I forgot to check the XP. No, it is zero. It has been confirmed. Zero XP uh, received there. Zero XP gained by uh, an unupgraded tower. Still level 2 blood mage. We have 80 spy against 80. A hidden uh, blood mage. There. Is he gonna mana burn something? Do we have castle by the way? No, we don't. We still have a keep. No fragmentation shards. Other upgrades. Bears are just healing everything. Using souls of the beast, or I mean, uh, roars is what they call, what you call them. <laughs> this bear doesn't have enough mana to go back in bear form, but now he has. There it is. We have wisps over here. What is this? Chimera roosts. Two chimera roosts here. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, Chamik went over 80. He's at 90 now. 90 supply. Well, I guess we have a waiting game. Okay, Lolite went over 80 as well. Did he scout it? Did he scout the over 80 supply? I don't know. Nice, some beautiful flares there. Look at them shooting the flares. Isn't that beautiful? Does he see the chimeras? Not sure if he uh, saw them. We don't see them, but I'm not sure if that uh, actually means he didn't see them. He does have plenty of flying machines. He's building more flying machines. If he build, he's building more flying machines. Oh, oh wait, how much supply? 90. He needs more farms. Buying items instead. Two healing scrolls. Three healing scrolls, a bunch of flying machines. The Chimera, Chimeras of, are of course also 2 2. Are under Where are they? They're almost out. We have six flying machines against two Chimeras. All of them are upgraded the same 2 2. Oh, we have some detonates. Oh, they're actually just dying. I don't see a single detonate. The Wisp just dying. Beautiful breath of fire, level 3 breath of fire, of course, kills these flying machines so fast. We have a hippo taking care of the remaining flying machines. We have a TP out when he sees those two chimeras. <laughs> and he needs a, a lot of flying machines, maybe. Two mortar teams died there. Over here, two mortar teams. We see a death spellbreaker over here. 90 supply here for Loliath, 78 for Jaimiko. I think this is looking pretty good here for uh, Loliath. Because he does have those uh, chimeras. Damiko is 10 supply behind. 
Doesn't have an answer really for the chimeras. He has three flying machines, but he needs to spread them against the panda. We also have a hippo. One hippo is almost enough to deal with this. Uh, here we have a fight. There is uh, anti-magic shell on the panda. Get a breath of fire. The panda is, his mana is being stolen, maybe. Uh, but sure. Oh no, he banishes uh, the, the the air units, the chimeras. But he's uh, so low on hit points. Has a healing scroll just to save himself. Blizzard is. Uh, doing some damage against the bears but it's, it's not just the bears it's also the chimeras who do a shit ton of damage with plus 26 and uh, they're 3 2 upgraded right now um uh, healing regeneration tool being used here this uh spellbreaker being mic without where are more blizzards we want more blizzards oh the arc is going to die use another heal scroll so you survive for now but no more heal scrolls available no more nothing this looks so bad for chimico and gg okay we have uh best of three between Chamiko and Fly, the winner is a winner of the losers bracket uh, final. It's a losers bracket final. So the winner will go through to the round of eight. We'll join Loliath. We'll join who else was there? We'll join Check. We'll join Focus. We'll join WFZ TH Loliath, and uh, of course the winners from Group D as well. Chamiko keeping here on the left side. Fly creeping here on the right side with Yoshura. Very nice blade bash here for Fly. I'm just glad he didn't get Tojara. I mean, I like Tojara, but he's just not very good with Tojara. Fly is uh, good with Yoshura. He has a class of attack. He's gonna kill these uh, these little forest soul trappers. Anything else going on? He belts two burrows. Very slow attack here for Fly. Is he afraid of a tower, uh, Fire Lord Towers maybe? Is that why? Maybe that's why. I, but I still don't like the position here on these Spurs. Like this one is nice that it at least is one one to the right. Like we have one space available here. So Grunts and Blade Masters can walk here. But they cannot walk here. I would have liked to see it one down. Over there. Uh, this one the, I'd like to see it over here. On this side of the peon line so you cannot just build towers over here and hit the gold peons without uh, being hit by the burrows uh and but even uh, if you build it here i'd still like to see it maybe a bit up and over here oh, i want maybe one to the right i'm not sure if uh i don't think grunts can walk here right yeah you should build one more to the right but that's 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 too far back. I really like it on the left side much better. Anyway, Blade Master creeping over here while Chamiko is creeping over here. Very interesting creep route here by Chamiko. Went straight across the map after creeping this, but a very interesting creep route here by Fly as well. So the meet over here. We'll never we never see this normally. Swallow so Metal is easy kill for the Blade Master, of course. And all oh, the Forest Lord Shadow Priest is ensnared, but the Footman is going to die as well. So it's gonna be a trade there. Oh, he does kill his own Forest Lord Shadow Priest, not giving XP there. Blade Master and the Archmaster are very equal in XP, but the Blade Master has much better items, of course. Claws of Attack plus 6 and a Pendant of Energy. Now, the Pendant of Energy is not that great on the Blade Master, but... Well, actually, he's level 3. That gives him a lot of level 2 Windwalks. That's pretty good. Second Footman dying there. We have a Berserker here for... Uh, what's his name? For Fly as well. So, it's, that was a very interesting game. Fly went for the creeps, for fast creep to level 3. That's, you never see that against human, or very rarely, because usually if human gets level 3 uh, Archmage, you're screwed, even if you have a level 3 Blade Master. Uh, but, Chimiko was anticipating harass, which of course you anticipate. We could normally uh, orc a uh, oh, nice kill there on the Blade Master. Because usually, uh, oh, another footman going down. Because usually, or harasses, so Chamiko tried to evade creep, but instead, because he went for the evade creep, there was the worst possible situation ever there for Chamiko, because he was wasting a lot of time not creeping. The blade master crept faster than he did. He wasn't dodging any blade masters. Another footman dying there. He's losing all his footmen. He uh, lost. He, he uh, got worse items than Fly did. Fly was able to buy buy mercenaries. But Fly's tech was late, so now we can cancel it. Oh, no mana for the Water Elemental yet. But he cancels it without the Water Elemental. Shadow Hunter is going up. This is, of course, one of the big weaknesses when you uh, attack slowly. Here you have more Grunts and more uh, Berserkers to creep faster, but 
Your tier 2 is going to be later. It's going to be very easy to cancel. Here comes the defense force for a fly. Three grunts and our blade master is building a war mill as well. Water elemental is in trouble. Blade master already level 3.6. Archmage just barely level 3. We have Mount King second, only one footman. And uh, yeah, casters of course. How many footmen did he lose early game? Like 5 or 6 or 12? I think it's about 4 or 5. He, he lost 1 here, he lost 2 here. And probably another one somewhere. I think I remember another one dying somewhere, so I think 4. He puts a speed here. Oh, the sources. Well, it can, it can be cancelled, but he's looking for a creep jack. He does have an info potion as well. Are under which. Um, is all right. Usually against human, I prefer the the healing potion. The pendant of energy is going to be very nice later for for on the shadow hunter. That's it. And the uh, the gloss of haste, of course, very nice on the blade master. So they they can make a nice trade. Wormill up, spirit lodge going up. And the blade master will want some more. Ravas over here. Do we have dust? We don't. I don't think so. Yeah, we do have dust. Is it a dust? Blade Master being focused, he's slowed, is storm bolted, and has the info potion. Survives for now, also has speed school. Not in too much danger there. But we've all seen Fly lose his Blade Master before. He's very good at it. We have a peon scouting over here. Shadow Hunter kills these two gnolls. That is no would have died to the water elemental already, but I guess he didn't. I guess the water ele elemental expired instead. The blade master going for this priest. The priest is being healed by the other priest. Blade master being slowed. Stormbolt on blade master, but just too late. The priest did go down and surround. Oh, but no mana. But he has the info potion. He's gonna use it. Where's the info potion? There it is. There's the shadow. I'm not sure about letting go of that surround. Um, it was a greater info potion, so maybe it was smart. I guess it was smart. There goes the sorceress. Uh, the info potion is still info, uh, it's still lasting. And they're out of uh, oh, do we have more dust? No dust. If he had dust, his blade master would have died, but he already used both the dusts. Uh, let's see if we can storm bolt the unit here to kill. Like, he lost so much already this game. He didn't kill a single unit yet. Chimey goes so far behind. Fly is just doing absolutely beautiful. Just, just great here for Fly. We have Boots of Speed, by the way, on the Mountain King. The Spirit Walker is not even going to die. The Piggy is a Mountain King. Like, what did you just lose over here? Like, a few sorceresses, priests, two sorceresses, a priest. He lost four footmen earlier, so that's already uh, seven units lost four time ago. Didn't kill a single unit. He also is behind in creeping, has less items, worse items, less uh, strong heroes, weaker heroes. Didn't even kill the spirit walker. All he did was force that info potion. This is looking so bad here for Jamiko. It's insane. Maybe you want to keep with the blade master as well. Well, the shadow hunter, of course, more important. But the blade master level four is, is kind of nice as well. Or maybe could buy another info potion and start harassing. We do have dust again. Does he have mana? He has plenty of mana. Okay, shadow hunter will get level three here. So I guess. Well, what is this? On healing self over there. Finds uh, this fake mountain king is being blocked by the piggy. Hunter picks up that healing self. <clears throat> Did the uh, ring of protection plus three? That's a shitty item. Okay, Blade master. If you can kill a few creeps here, get level four. That would be beautiful. Mountain king still level three. We have a bunch of sorceresses, a bunch of priests. It is 40, 48 against 50 supply. So even though Fly killed like 11 supply of units, no more, right? 8, 7, 14. 14 supply of units. Not that far behind in supply because. Why not? Because he's been buying better items, I guess. He has a healing scroll. Yes. Another one, healing scroll, I assume. No, he doesn't buy it. Almost level 4, by the way. That almost is good enough in this situation. Mountain King level 3. Because he will kill, even if they fight right now, uh, he will kill a unit very fast and will get level 4. He just needs 5 more XP. He will just get level uh, 4 over here. Meanwhile, do we have a level 3 Mountain King? Yes, level 3 Archmage. 
No, XP behind. Chamika's behind in XP. He's behind in uh, items. He's behind the upgrades. We have one zero on the grunts. Zero zero on the spellbreakers. Adapt on the sorceresses. Initiate on the priests. We have adapt on spirit walkers. So uh, what about the army size? That's the only thing. Chamika is actually he went over fifty. I don't think he uh, stands a chance here. Look at this blade master. Plus nineteen damage with the gloss of haste. Hang very fast. Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter, uh, level 3. Extra mana. Healing Soul. TP. Just everything he ever wanted. Well, uh, Chamiko doesn't have anything he wanted. He's going for the Berserker. His uh, invisible water elementals were beautiful. He kills the Berserker, loses a Sorceress. It's like a flank, a flank of water elementals. They were spread out. They were hard to dispel. They were able to... Wait, did he dispel them in the end? I don't see them anymore. So at least one of them that got dispelled. Maybe one of them expired. Or maybe they were standing close enough to uh, actually get the dispels off. That was really nice about Chamiko. He's over 50. He's at 60 supply. Chamiko still have a chance. Now, especially if they fight right now, I think so. The bigger army. There's Mr. Blade Master. Did he buy anything? He bought one healing scroll. Doesn't know, of course, that the fly is staying at 50. So that actually means the longer the fight, the longer, uh, the more time passes before they fight again, the better it is for uh, fly. Because he is getting more money. He's in low upgrade. He bought the info potion. He does, did it? Oh, he did hit the Blade Master. He does have an info potion. Where's the Mountain King? There, he's too far away, even with boots. He can I don't think he can cut off the Blade Master somewhere. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Where's the Stormbolt? But we might see a dodge there with the Info Potion. There it is. Beautiful dodge. But that means there's uh, no more Info Potion. Did he go over 50 yet? Fly with over 50. 59. Info has some illusions. There's still some creeps left. We have some Murlocs over here. And we have uh, one Murloc over here. That's it. Militia being summoned. This peon is going to die. Let's see, what do we have here? We have, uh, why Why is Fly not further ahead? I figured he'd be way further ahead. Two on upgrades, I see. He's been spending his money on upgrades. So he is pretty far ahead. It's just not as obvious. Like, he's six supply behind, but he has two on upgrades. He has a bit better items. Here's a fight. Blade Master is uh, getting storm bolted. He has a healing potion and the Shadow Hunter healing him. This uh, spellbreaker being my code. He kills something with 213 critical strike, but he's still being focused. Uh, oh no, he was about to storm bolt, but the, the red, uh, the Mountain King turned into a red. We have a lot of spellbreakers here trying to kill this raider, I think. Uh, there's a storm bolt on the raider. There's only two raiders. Well, that's still enough raiders there. The, the Blade Master is killing peasants. Another spellbreaker going down. That's probably kind of a waste of its time. Use a grunt to kill the peasants. Use a blade master to kill other shit. But on the other hand, he is safe there in the back. Uh, this grunt, this raider dying here. Chimika doing pretty, uh, might going pretty well here. Of course, fly as well, but fly is fly. This uh, all 225 critical strike, and then he kills it. Then he, he did get a storm bolt. If that critical strike was like one or two more, he would have probably killed it with lot, one less attack. This uh, Kodo ate the spellbreaker. That's just so nice to see Kodo eat his breakfast. This uh, raider being focused. We have one more raider. He's building more raiders. He needs more raiders. That raider went down. Only one raider. If he can kill the raider, we have infinite micro here for Chai Miko. Not losing a unit ever. Besides, maybe against the hex and the blade master. But you don't want to use hexes too much. The entire orc army is, is slowed. We have uh, level four heroes. The Blade Master is pretty close to level five. What about the Archmage? He is level four as well. So we have a lot of storm bolts. There's another one on the Blade Master, but the healing wave means that the Blade Master is just fine. Some bashes. That's a nice bash. Look how much mana is still on the Shadow Hunter. Plenty of mana because of the Panda of Energy. It's just such a good item. And let me see some more micro. Micro. We have another raider coming out. He is building more raiders. That's the only thing he really should be building. Uh, we don't care too much about more spirit walkers. He still has four. Uh, he also still has three grunts. He just needs more raiders. There's a nice uh, uh, bash on the grunt. Where's the blade master? He's over here. He's behind his units, behind his peons. The peons are blocking the blade master. Blade master gets uh, attacks the spellbreaker. Where's the micro? There's a the micro. His water elemental does. Go down though, so that's some more nice XP. The Blade Master almost level 5. 
And Mad King has to use the info potion. He needs to kill the Blade Master. I think there's only a chance here for Tamiko. Well, actually, his 10 supply up, so it's probably not the only chance. But that would be a very good uh, thing to do. But now the Mountain King is going to die. This Mountain King is dead. He gives him TP, but he dies instead uh, as a piggy. He's going to revive at the tavern. We have uh, two Raiders still. This Spellbreaker being Mike without sources as well. I guess the Raiders. Well, this one maybe could have stare something, but he needs mana on the Shadow Hunter. The Mountain King is going to rebuy it, or is he going for the Altar rebuy? I mean, if he rebuys it, he's planning to attack. Right? Of course, if you are not planning to fight right in a way, you don't rebuy it here, you buy it at the Altar. He thinks he is on the time limit. He, may, he needs to fight before the Shadow Hunter has too much mana. If he goes back to full mana again, well, I think. Man, he, he has to heal up his Mountain King. I think it's too late. Shadowhunter has too much mana already. Use the second clarity, please. Fly. There it is. Buy another one. Out of clarities. Out of clarities. Let's see, we have uh, still a one supply lead for Jamiko, but that's not a big enough supply lead against level 5 Blade Master, against a level 4 Shadowhunter. We just have level 4 and level 3. Shadowhunter has uh, 400 mana. Mountain King? 100. 100. Archmage, also 100. Or 90 even. Behind the XP, maybe he should have uh, instead of waited uh, and hide of mana. And maybe even crept that one murder camp is still there. I'm not sure if he knows he's still there. The Spellbreaker goes down, the, the Raider goes down as well. Mountain King, still alive. Spellbreaker is being focused now. Uh, he kills the Raider there. The Water Metal is. I think Micro is just goes down there. Maybe a blizzard would have been nice there for Jamiko. He kills that uh, peasant there. Blade Master did. Shadow Hunter in the back, healing again, his man again. Might as well drop your item if you're so far behind your uh, pen of energy, but maybe that's too much Maiko. Maybe that's not worth it. Dakota is still hungry. There's another snare here on the Spellbreaker. Dakota walking forward. So hungry. Do we have Stormbolt? We do have Stormbolt. Um, and that was a bit, maybe not a risk, maybe not worth taking there for a fly. But his Koda will survive. It's not like uh, there's a lot of piercing damage here. So the Koda doesn't go down that fast. So he can be a bit more risky against human with the Koda than on that. This grunt here, uh, pretty low. It does get microed out. Blade Master cutting apart everything in front of him. 272 critical strikes. Now he's going for the Spellbreaker. Will he get it? He does get it. And another one. 256 critical strike. Beautiful kills there, but it's still 52 against 52. It's not over yet. The DP out. Just kills one more spellbreaker. Stormbolt there on the Blade Master. This raider, uh, this uh, this guy dying as well. This priest. Now we have Chamiko. He's under 50 supply though, so he gets more of an income. So now the longer the game goes, well, Chamiko has a chance of, for a comeback if he stays under 550. But he wants. Does he want to fight again? Don't think he he should hurry. To fight the uh, shadow hunter already is gonna have plenty of mana already before you uh engage just be keeping those murlocs maybe get ex get level 4 mountain king get a xp tone yeah so scouting around Mount king same thing He's like a blade master with boots of speed and uh, invisibility. It's like the same hero. Let's see what what who's gonna buy what item? Oh, wrong button there. The mountain king bought some nice items and healing scroll and an info potion. The blade master <laughs> sees it now. Like, hey, where did the info potion and the healing scroll go? Well, there's an expansion for fly. So force. Jamiko to act. He, he's not gonna scout this for a ball. Maybe with the invisible water elemental. But Jamiko, under 50 supply, he's getting much more gold here than uh, Fly. So if he waits until this expansion is done, or almost done, then. Uh, Buys a bunch of units. Still has a chance there to get a bigger army.
Life one two to one first moon. That's just amazing. That's just great there by life. That's the life. We'll see him in the run of eight. Shadow Hunter's level 5. Oh, that Wild Elemental gave level 5 Shadow Hunter. That's so bad. But I think he would have gotten level 5 very soon anyway in the next fight. I don't think he scouted this yet. Did he go over 50? Chamiko went over 50, went straight to 60, but doesn't have much more farms. So, uh, anything else? That's nice Stormbolt on this Raider. We, uh, Blade Masters go for this uh, Spellbreaker. Spellbreaker is going to fall for sure. There it goes. And what else is he going to kill here? He's going to go for uh, this Spellbreaker. He can eat it. He eats it. But meanwhile, this Raider here is dying as well. Do we have Militia? No, we don't have any Lumber Peons anymore. Maybe after the Gold Mine is empty. The, uh, one more Spellbreaker being focused, but the Blade Master, he cuts a Stormbolt on his face. And now he kills this Spellbreaker. There it goes. Meanwhile, what is Chimiko killing? These grunts in the front are pretty easy targets. There's a healing wave. And he used uh, the militia. Doesn't use them in the fight though. Only one militia. And he, that militia has died so fast. Mountain King is level 4 finally. We have level 2 bash. Two critical strikes there in a row. 272 and 292. We have level 6. But no mana. No mana. Oh, but we have a food launch. Also a mana potion that he could give to the Blade Master. Uh, but it doesn't matter at this point. I don't think there's anything Chimiko can do, even if uh, we don't see any Blade Storm. Kodo is uh, still digesting that Spellbreaker. All his militias are dying. He's uh, Spellbreaker is very low on hit points. He's, he's killing the shop. He has to kill the shop. If there's more mana, it's even worse, but it doesn't matter. Like, oh no, Chimiko. That is GG, right? The Blade King dying. We're just waiting now, and there it is. GG. Anyway, let's focus on this game now. We have game two here of Chaimiko versus Fly. Uh, Chaimiko getting an Archmage, getting Footman, getting Militia. He's gonna micro. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna creep. That's what I meant to say. Of course he's going to micro, but what I meant to say is he's going to creep. Of course he's gonna micro against the creeps. Meanwhile, the Blade Master, is he going for the same strategy again? No. No, I say no, but let's keep a keen eye. Close eye. Let's keep a close eye here on Fly. He does get the XP for the level 5. He does get Gloss of Haze. He does stack to tier 2 without the second burrow. So he does do a different strategy than last game. And meanwhile, Archmage are creeping over here, of course. He gets a close of attack. That's a beautiful item here for the Archmage. Cloak of Shadows might be nice to hide from the Blade Master. The Blade Master is going over here with his, with his Claws of Haste and maybe uh, maybe not, okay. Maybe he's going to buy a Circlet first. Then what, is he going to creep this or is he going to harass over here? He doesn't know where the human is, his, his uh, Grunt is scouting. I mean, he probably has an inkling. Probably knows exactly where human is. Because he scouted this entire right side of the map. Here he sees... Uh, he sees the human, he sees Chimiko kill that baby Murloc. Land there, by the way, against Ar Arashi Cage. Uh, Gauntlet of Ogre Strength, what a useless item. Blade Master is just killing this forest hole. Is that enough for level 2? Is it level 3? Yeah. Enough. Archmage is level 2.4 or level 2.5, maybe even? No, level 2.45. He's gonna buy some item. He's hiding. He buys a Boots of Speed. He won't be able to creep this because the Blade Master just finished that. Oh, he kills that frog! You guys saw that, right? Just a grunt, he just uses his axe and just smashes that frog. Um, is he gonna creep this now that the grunt scouted it? No. We don't have Boots of Speed here on the Blade Master. Archmage, what is he going to do? Is he gonna scout? He's gonna creep the Murlocs. Players' forces are under attack. Going to creep this with a water elemental and a footman. Screaming over here, I see. Uh, he wants a mantle of intelligence. But he's gonna let this item be picked up by the Blade Master. Maybe he will also get the level 5. Maybe he doesn't creep the level 5. The water elemental will definitely go to the Blade Master. There it is. 42 XP. Beautiful. 
Need all the Archmage creeping over here. He's almost level 3. If he gets to level 3, he can cancel this tier 2 easy peasy. Tier 2 buildings. If they go up in a, in a moment there. But the footman, he sees the footman already. But he's just, he wants his level 5 kobold. But that gives him the opening. That gives the Archmage the opening to uh, maybe even kill this burrow. Because there's no tier 2 yet to cancel. So this burrow is in so much danger. There's Mr. Water Elemental. And the foot, uh, the footman, not footman, peons are here defending the burrow. The footman and the water elemental go for the burrow. Blade master, what item did he get? A replenishment potion. What a useless item. That ha is hardly worth it. The art, the water elemental does. He killed it himself. He did deny the water elemental, but the footman will go down. And will give uh, 40 XP there to Mr. Blade master, even more than 40 instead. In fact. 40 plus 15% uh, is uh, one and a half times four is three, six, 46 XP there for the footman. Because he was tier two, didn't have the Shadow Hunter out yet, so he gets 15% bonus, bonus XP. Archmage, Taco for the win. But I, I was thinking as well. Uh, footman are all ho at home safe. Oh, we have a flying sheep. Probably uh, had some fight earlier. Probably was a griffin that fought a sorceress. This is all that's left from the sheep. It was a pretty powerful sorceress. Usually polymorph is limited to a certain amount of time. But not this time. It's, uh, you can see from his wings. It's not sheep wings. It's like some kind of... Uh, yeah, it looks like, like maybe some kind of griffin wings. Pretty cute, Mr. Sheep. Meanwhile, we have the Blade Master keeping these creeps. There's no, uh, I got another Gauntlet of Ogre Strength. Again, a very bad item. He's going for this creep over here, of course. Meanwhile, Chamiko, who is going for towers or is he going to creep his expansion? The militia. Hi to Taco. <laughs> Hi to Taco. Oh, nice item here. Scourge Bone Chimes, especially against human. It's so nice. It's just so nice. It's really nice. It's very nice. Level 2 Shadow Hunter. Blade Master is level 3, of course. He has level 2 Wind Walk, level 1 Critical Strike. Do we see towers? We do have plenty of towers. Is he going for the burrows or the shop? He's going for the shop, of course. The shop is so important. The burrows are not. Where is the Blade Master? He's almost here. The shop. Oh, we have five peons repairing the shop. It's all about the shop. Can he get the shop? can't get the shop he cannot get the shop meaning that it's gonna be defended maybe we'll see the blade master going for the the thing the scout tower because he got storm bolted in the face and now he's doing trying to do some more damage oh the other tower got killed blade master is still alive here in the back not a healing wave uh, it's gonna be used there in a second there it is and the blade master kills his other uh oh no the surround all oh, the shadow hunter but the anti surround oh no the shadow hunter is gonna die anyway Oh no, and the Blade Master surrounded out. It's gonna. Oh, yeah, it will matter for one more Wind Walk. I didn't realize that. By his healing potion. If he lost both those heroes, that would have been GG. But losing one of them is already very bad. There's another Stormbolt here on the Blade Master, and he's gonna be surrounded. He's going to die, and this is gonna be Chimiko's game. Oh no. Poor Fly. He's so sad. And now all these units, all these grunts are slowed. Uh, Berserker is slowed. This is GG. Chimiko wins game 2. We have a Tyrannosaurus Rex here for um, for Chimiko. Level 1 Archmage. The Blade Master here, level 1 uh, Akinos, does have a circlet. And. And this Grunt, what's this Grunt doing? Doing nothing here. The Grunt tried to uh, kill the. the Oh, both water elementals going to the blade master and killed one already. Denies the other one. Beautiful kill there by the Archmage. Denying the kill there on the water elemental with Akinos against Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now he's going to kill this uh, turtle over here. Uh, he was too late to kill, uh, snipe it with the Archmage. Archmage so close to level 2. He just needs 4 more XP. Does, ha does have Cloak of Shadows and Slippers of Agility. Some completely useless items. Well, the Cloak of Shadows might be useful uh, hiding, of course, from the blade master, but. Still, you want mantles of intelligences. Gonna sell something, buy boots. Sell anything. But he's going to buy boots at 7 o'clock, of course. It's not 7 o'clock just yet. He has to wait at 15 minutes. There are boots and dust. 
And uh, we have footmen over here. Great. No tower. Don't need to tower. Hey, Master Crypt over here. He wants slippers. If you guys are rooting for a fly, you should be praying that he gets slippers right over here and win the game here with the slippers. He doesn't get slippers, he gets a cloak of shadows. That's a really bad one. Bad. Jamiko creeping over here, killing his ogre warrior. His footman tanking this uh, ogre over here. Gets a ring of protection. What a bad item for Jamiko. He's been getting the worst items as well. How do boots benefit a mage when he's sitting on a horse? Horseshoes. Yes, that's right. Do you think the, the mage is wearing them? The mage doesn't even wear shoes, does he? Maybe. No, the, they are for the horse. Blade Master can go for the Archmage. He sells the slippers and the Cloak of Shadows. Blade Master is hiding in the shadows himself. Grunts are walking all around the map. <laughs> Four Grunts all running around the map. There is the Ancient, uh, the not the Ancient of Lore, Spirit Lodge. Can he kill this Ogre? Can he snipe it? Of course he can. And he's going to get a nice item. The Ring of Claws of Attack. That's much better. Than any of the other items we've seen so far this game. This footman is trying to run, but Mr. Blade Master is going to kill him and he dies. And this water metal, can he deny it? Beautiful deny there by Mr. Tyrannosaurus Rex, killing his own water elemental one more time. Imagine if this Blade Master had 84 more XP, he would be already uh, level 2.5 instead of level 2.15. Uh, footman will get away, no problem. Is what I want to say, but how much, how much more uh, windwalk do we have? He could always, or maybe he can kill it. Maybe he has to use a speed scroll because this footman is going to block him. He used the speed scroll, but the block is beautiful. But the footman wasn't walking. The footman is dead. The footman is dead. Yeah, I'm sure a horse would run much, so much better wearing Jordans. Of course he does. Uh, the reason you've never seen a horse with Jordans is just because um, it's expensive to buy shoes for a horse. They uh, they wear and tear very fast if a horse is wear wearing them because a horse is just it's pretty strong uh, unit uh, <laughs> unit animal, pretty heavy. It's a lot of pressure on the shoes. Claw two claws of attack here and circlet. Hooves. <laughs> well, it's not called hooves of speed. Just wearing normal shoes, I think. Okay, well, we have uh, more creep going on. We love, we love it when they both just creep the entire map, and we can just sit here talking about the items they get. Talking about the XP they're getting, talking about their heroes, talking about the names, Akinos. Jojo Headshrinker, by the way. Jojo Headshrinker. What do we have here? We have uh, Thordin Rockbeard. You'd think Thordin would work with uh, Akinos. You know, not with uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right? Because Thor is uh, from Greece. Right? Is, is Thor from Greece? No, it's a Viking. Oh. <laughs> like I I know my mythology mythology myth, mythology very well mythology Hakinos is of course Greece and uh, Thor is uh, from the north both sources and priests are zero zero Mount King is not going to die fast with their boots with their ring of protection this priest however Different uh, fate for the priest. Is he going for towers again? It worked last time. Might as well go for it again. Tyrone and Surge Rex is level 3. Uh, Mountain King Thor, Thor is level 2. So he has Bash. Jojo just got level 3 though. And then Blade Master, of course, also level 3 where, wherever he is. There he is. With level 2 Windwalk. But he does have the Boots of Contalas, which is insane. Plus 20 damage, 35 agility, attacks very fast. This Blade Master could win the game by himself. So can the Shadow Hunter. With that, the Wand of Mana stealing. It is extra mana, but the towers are com coming. The towers are coming. Okay, this uh, footbag should probably be micro back. A bit late on the micro back, but sure, I'll take it. The priest is being killed here by the Blade Master. This water elemental doing nothing. We have a, a flank, a Kodo flank. 
And the color will get a storm bolt on his face. There it is. And two water metals attacking him. Do we have dispels for the water metal? There's one. There's another one. Beautiful dispels. And the Kodo does die after all. We have uh, another ensnare here on the spellbreaker. We have uh, 46 supply for Tamiko, 49 for Fly. And uh, well, one more spellbreaker does to go down. Another footman as well. 134 critical strike. Stormbolt on the blade master saves him a bit of damage. We have uh, one more healing wave, but then a one more with the mana, one of mana stealing. And maybe we can uh, steal now before the next stormbolt because the mana king has exactly enough for a stormbolt if he steals the mana. There it is. No more stormbolt and. Uh, he has to wait a little bit before he has another healing wave. But three arcane towers are up. That's a lot of arcane towers. Uh, this spellbreaker does fall. But arcane towers aren't very good against units that don't have magic or especially or at least the units that don't have uh, light or, or uh, unarmored armor. Kill so two more peasants. These peasants they, they aren't very very strong in the fight here. Did he just uh, heal something? No, I don't think so. But... Blade Master against the Mountain King. 130 critical strike. Mountain King does have bash, but he's going to die. Does he have invis? No, the invis. Mountain King is dead. GG on Mountain King. Oh no, never mind. Gives him a TP. That's exactly what I was trying to say there. He gives a TP to the Mountain King. TP's out. And uh, what do we have? We have 35 for Tamiko, 49 for Fly. It's looking very bad here for Tamiko. Um, Arcan Towers do like no damage, Lola. Yeah, they do like no damage. They do 8 to 10. Even less on a Raider. And on Heroes, of course, very low as well. If they don't have mana, if the Heroes have mana, they do a bit better. So, how is Tamiko uh, going to come back this game? Well, first of all, he's going AFK. <laughs> he's going downstairs, make himself a sandwich, think about how he's gonna win this game. And, okay, he made a sandwich, it was pretty fast. Pretty fast sandwich there. Now he's going to creep probably the red creep camp. He needs to creep the entire map. He can't fight. Uh, Fly could even go for an expansion right now, or he could, could not go for an expansion, that's fine as well. Can creep to level 5 5 heroes. In the meantime, we might get a level 5. No, never. He's never gonna get a level 5 Archmage. And Blizzard, level 3 Blizzard would be nice. Nice shockwave. Beautiful shockwave. Powers is new filter. Oh, I guess uh, Lin is new then. Lin just lost uh, the other day against Star Wars. Was Infi Star Wars, but still, it was Star Wars. We have uh, Hood of Cunning. Not a great item. Pretty shitty item. What item do we have? Uh, oh, he, did he creep over? Not yet. Not yet. Go for it right now. A player's forces are under attack. And what's he gonna buy here? Some healing scrolls, maybe. I mean, it's a 50 supply. He just needs to creep more, maybe TP. Okay, there's retraining. That's, of course, what I was talking about. The Blizzard, that's a way to come back. When he made that sandwich, he realized the same thing. I need Blizzard. Also, Hood of Cunning here. Another shitty item for another player. The Raiders are 01. He's getting more upgrades. He's getting another attack upgrade. There's a healing a rune. Okay, we have level 5 play badge, level 5 settle under. So let's see what are the heroes like. Level 3, level 3. <laughs> level 5 heroes against level 3 heroes. Of course, level 5 heroes so much better than level 3 heroes. Everyone knows this. Even I know this. Even even everyone in my Twitch chat knows this. We also have 50 supply against 58. Everyone knows 58 is so much better than 50. We have better items against worse items, and we all know that better items are so much better than worse items. Uh, here's this fight. There's a beautiful blizzard though. So maybe the blizzard comeback is what's gonna happen here. We have a nice hex. Plenty of mana on the shadow hunter. He can just spam hex and healing wave. He has two mana potions and a pendulum of energy. There's infinite mana. There's another hex on the blade master. Kodo is hungry. What does he eat? He eats a spellbreaker. This priest is dead. The blade master is level three critical strike, of course. Uh, but his units are a bit slow here. 
not have another speed skull, so he has to just walk. He's going for the uh, Archmage, give the info potion to the Archmage. The Archmage survives for now. This guy doesn't get the same, well, treatment. He cannot even um, use the info potions. Uh, Mountain King going down, he's dead. There it is, GG. Fly wins game three. Fly wins this game and uh, advances together with Loliath.